Hello, everybody, and welcome to The Sprawl, the actual play of cyberpunk proportions here on Shadowcasters <laughs> Cyber Network. Cyberpunk proportions. <laughs> Thanks, Oz. Uh, right, yeah. So, oh, hey, everybody. Beautiful. How's everybody? It's Hi, we've, had, we've had two weeks. Yeah. How are we all? How are we all feeling? I'm, I'm itching, itching to get centered. back into it. We yes. left it on a... There's a lot it of... It was a very interesting cliffhanger last time, so... Oh, that's... God. It was. Mm -hmm. It absolutely, yeah, absolutely was. I feel... Yeah, I feel on edge. Yeah, a little bit. Mm, a little that's bit. How it should be. That's yeah. how it always should be. <laughs> so let's let's actually we will go ahead and talk about what happened last session. But first, let's go ahead and introduce all of our players while people are trickling in. Uh, first, yes, I'm indeed. Oz. I'm the master of ceremonies. That's what they call the game master in the system. I'm in charge of all of the characters in the game, except for these four. So starting with Palmer. My name is Palmer. I will be playing Stenon, who's the infiltrator on this team, affectionately known, affectionately known as Sprawl Dad. And mm -hmm. uh, you can also find me uh, as the producer of Radio Free Detroit, the Shadowrun in character actual play, or I'm um, pirate radio broadcast podcast. Nice. <laughs> Nathan. Hi, I'm your new favorite parasocial relationship, Nathan Blades. I uh, GM and produce the Talent Agency podcast, uh, queer cyberpunk voguing action. I play Geppetto, the non-binary soft boy who is a friend to all robots. Yes. Uh, Myson. Hi, I'm Myson. I'm the Hacker Man, um, otherwise known as Whistleblower. Um, I am currently a nobody except just a general Twitch streamer, but I have a podcast coming very soon. It's going to be a Shadowrun actual podcast. There's going to be an audio drama. It's going to be called uh, Shadowrun Chrome City Chronicles. Be on the lookout for that. It should be coming here in a few weeks, I hope. Nice. You heard it here first, folks. Ooh, <laughs> Chrome real. City Chronicles. <clears throat> I like and, it, actually. Yeah, Sick. right. And Anyways. finally, Allison. Hey! Hey, I'm Allison. Uh... I play the killer and everybody's favorite little manic pixie razor girl angel. <laughs> and let's see, my anything of note, I guess recently, if you were have been playing attention to Blackout here on Shadowcasters Network, I was the voice of Boots. Hi. I got I got some rave reviews at the time, so. Yeah, so real quick, I guess we should probably plug that. Um, so Palmer, as well as uh, various other people in the Shadowrun community, are uh, including Neo Anarchist Podcast, uh, Deniable Assets, are currently doing a 30-day audio drama release across all three of their channels that all intersect and tell a story of a uh, event that is going to happen in canon. That has not been revealed. So, oh god! So yeah, definitely check out all those channels. It's been great. Uh, I've been voice acting as Ziggy. I see a few of us are. All, I know also Nathan. You were in that too. Yes, I was. I played uh, Fass, the urban shaman, in in some of that, and did an excellent job. Love him. <laughs> Absolutely, Nathan. You're I do my knocking best. it out. Not all three of you have been in. Am I going to get roped in next? Is that what's going to happen? That that's that's up to you. That's up to you, chum. That's that's up to you. Mm. They probably still need more voice acting. See. Always, always need more yeah. voices. <laughs> um, oh, whoa, 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 hello. I'm trying to get to Twitch chat on my phone, and it's just like, hey, do you want an ad? Do you want an ad? Would you like an ad? <laughs> Turn no, your phones on silent while the show is running. We know we love ads here on the sprawl. Uh, Palmer's been doing an excellent only job. The ads I want to hear are Palmer's. Okay. Yeah, Those are the only doing ones I want to hear. Excellent job on our pre-show mid-show. Uh, Ad, so definitely make sure you stick around and check those out. Uh, last yes. but not least, chat's talking about this new tie. Yes, it is new. It is shiny. Look, it's a on, rad let me, tie. Let it catch the light. Hold on. I'm trying to get it. It, it had a nice moment where it was like. Oh, yeah. Ee! No, it's been glittering yeah. as you've uh, that, as that you've been oh, wiggling around. Uh, yeah. 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 Look at that tie. Look at this Ooh, tie. That, yeah, that lens uh. flare. Ooh, that I'm, lens flare. Yeah, I'm loving this tie. This is a great Ooh. purchase. Because, uh, you know, JJ I got a everyone's production value. <laughs> <laughs> no, there, that that would cause lens flares like right here on the top corner. That just oh, suddenly no, lens flares. 
<laughs> I, and, and not all like camera folks love them, but I, for one, love a good lens flare. Yeah, it depends. Hmm. It depends on how it's properly used. Anyway, we're talking a lot of garbage. Let's go ahead and talk about what's actually been happening here on the Sprawl. So the Sprawl is Absolutely. a cyberpunk powered by the Apocalypse tabletop RPG by Hamish Cameron, and we are mm. playing it. So we had uh, we, <laughs> uh, in no the, uncertain terms, yes. Yes, uh, the sprawl encourages us to start with a session zero, create a universe. So we have created a, uh, our world of the Miami Arc Sprawl, Arc Sprawl because it is a series of archipelago islands uh, that have all been built up from the original islands uh, by droids because of uh, rising sea levels that have mm -hmm. basically sunk a bunch of the Caribbean as well as Florida. And uh, now the whole sprawl is one big connected unit uh, of not just islands, but also aquacologies under the water, as well as um, floating islands above in the sky. So awesome, awesome little place we've got going on. Um, <laughs> and uh, things that occurred last session, uh, they are... So they were contracted to do a job against Memory Gold. Memory Gold is one of the corporations that uh, is in charge of robotics. And basically the guy, the guy who gave the job, Rod, said, hey, you know what Memory Gold's working on? Weaponized smart mechas. We should probably stop that. And the team was like, yeah, we probably should. Mm -hmm. And so that is currently their job. They're trying to find information on it. Uh, they're currently waiting on info from Geppetto's contact in Memory Gold, Sharon King, mm -hmm. to let them know where that facility is. All they know is it's off the coast of Jamaica. Uh, then, however, while they're dealing with that, they have a more pressing problem. Uh, two corporations are currently hunting them simultaneously, and actually technically a third. The third is just not being like active dicks the way that the other two are, but they've had, <laughs> they have a safety net, has an APB out, an all points bulletin out for this team, so they can't really use the streets with, <laughs> uh, and they have to make sure that they avoid uh, police forces across the, uh, across the city. But the other two oh, no, corps, God. you have Ziggurat, who wants uh, Express, a robot that a, or an android that Geppetto and the team liberated from Ziggurat, they want it back because Express is a prototype and he is, or rather Express is able to control an entire building simultaneously, all of its functions. And so Express is also key to the memory gold job uh, because mm -hmm. the intention is if Express can be law, like can be jacked into the central server of that factory, it can sabotage the entire place in under a minute do millions mm -hmm. in damage. So he is Amazing. Express is key. Express is key to this mission, but Ziggurat wants him back. So that's oh, plot dear. one. Plot two is Mimi Price, director of security at Syracuse, who uh, has who has whistleblower uh, our hacker as one of her employees uh, who they don't know that he is actually a hacker working for this team, but essentially said, hey, this uh, this individual turns out to be Angel. She doesn't know that, Hi! though. By she, I mean Mimi Price doesn't know. Uh, she needs to be caught because, you know, she murdered somebody or whatever, but, like, she doesn't really seem to care about that as much. She's using that as a front because she actually wants Angel's body to be able to mind swap into because her current body is getting crow's feet. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Listen, Such a I'm going to say one reason. And I will say one thing to you, Miss Price. If you thought the crow's feet were bad, wait until you have to take pills ev twice a day, every day to maintain this. Are you ready for that, Miss Price? Are you? I don't think so. You don't know what her life you is like. You seem like the type who doesn't, who can't be bothered, so. <laughs> so, the team's current plan, the Xanatos Gambit that they were trying to run, is <laughs> let's have Ziggurat and Syracuse tipped off and meet at the same place so that they can take each other out trying to get to the team. Sinon has volunteered to be a decoy 
dressed as Angel because Sinon's abilities are to are like master of disguisey face stuff. Um, mm-hmm. Angel, I don't know what the plan is there. I just know that Angel wants to be sort of far away. Yeah, um, the plan is we're going to put decoy Angel front and center, and I'm going to be about wherever I feel comfortable, a couple anywhere from like 50 to a couple hundred feet back with old hotline and Little sniper uh, rifle. Yeah, and we're gonna and we're gonna start popping dudes like balloons. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, of course, you know, when things start to go to hell and we, uh, well, we can get a little confusion. What's a couple more bullets thrown into the mix? Mm-hmm. Of mm-hmm. course. So while we are uh, considering a couple of things, I want to set a prologue scene real quick. Sure. And I would like to enlist Allison's help in this. Oh, hi. What's up? So. <laughs> oh, you're ahead. scaring me, Oz. What are you getting me into? <laughs> Mimi Price. Yes. Is what about her? Currently, uh, a door opens. We. This is what we open our camera on. Door opens, and uh, Mimi Price and her bodyguards are behind her, and across on the other thresh, the the threshold of the door are a grieving uh, husband and mother uh, who they uh, are, seem to be confused. And Mimi Price introduces herself and says, may I enter? And they do. And we uh, cut to their living room uh, where uh, Mimi Price is currently drinking her, drinking the tea that has been served to her. Uh, and this is Clarissa Gallagher's family. So I would like you to, uh, Allison, to oh role play to role play the family as Clarissa offers. Oh. I'm sorry, as Mimi Price offers a deal. Oh my god! Oh, that's evil. So, Stinker. oh, the oh, um. Sorry, Clarissa Gallagher, uh, as you may know, uh, had uh, corporate life insurance. And as we know, there are two things that can be done with this money. One, we can give you that those funds uh, without question. Or we can invest that money to get answers and justice for your wife and for your daughter. Oh my god. <laughs> hmm. Okay, let me just get into the mindset here. All right. So, we'll say um what was her uh Gallagher, right? Mm-hmm. Um Miss Gallagher's mother and husband or it'd be Mrs. Gallagher uh discuss it for a little while and um we'll say they decide, you know what? Option B. Yeah. yeah, I hate to put people in these situations, um, but it's true. You really can't afford to live without knowing. We don't often get the opportunities to get justice and do good in the world. So thank you for entrusting Syracuse with these funds. She stands up and she has like this... Um, she has like this poncho thing that's like this ribbed poncho, but it's like it's just mm-hmm. up to like boob height and it opens up front. So revealing like this very trim dress mm-hmm. um, and her gloves, which she has like off to the side in her hand. She says, we'll ensure that the perpetrator is caught. We already have some leads. Outlook is good. And uh, she, what is the family, what is husband and mother, what, what would they say? Uh, I would think that there would be a, a, a few tears and uh, they're going to want to thank Mimi, that they're going to bring 
uh, Clarissa's killer to justice. And yeah, it's they're, they're going to uh, rest a little easier knowing that one more scumbag is going to be removed from the streets. Mm-hmm. And as you're looking around this home, Mimi Price is uh, not impressed in the conditions that they live. So if the family uh, does decide to go through with this, they're basically giving away a potential um, future to live well. Yeah. 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 Okay. And uh, I would like to just point out, out of character, how disgusting Mrs. Price's behavior is, because I assume she's going to report back to them on the success or failure of this with the face of Clarissa's killer in her eyes. Mm. Mrs. Price, hey. You know what she'll do. That's fucking disgusting. (laughs) You don't know what she'll do. So let's go ahead and skip. I'm just pointing things out. (laughs) I'm just I'm just calling it like I see it. (laughs) So we're going to go ahead and skip over. So the current plan was to tip off Ziggurat and to tip off Syracuse Industries at the same time to uh, approach your building at the same time. So let's go ahead and uh, let's assume that we've already sent out the uh, the tips. Mm-hmm. Uh, let mm. me go ahead and set okay. the stage for all of you. Uh, and then we can okay, all talk awesome. about where, ask. yeah, where you are awesome. in this situation. So mm-hmm. the apartment hideout that you that whistleblower was able to locate for you, it is an empty apartment within the 35 story Solad. Uh, it's mm-hmm. a building style uh, in that you would see, especially in the little Havana kind of area. They're mm-hmm. basically like think of like a U shaped building, but all of the apartments, their balconies and their windows face the interior courtyard. And there's like clotheslines that are crisscrossing between different balconies and stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, There's the central courtyard in the bottom. It has like an empty fountain and it shapes like the La Caridad del Cobre, which is the Lady of Charity. Uh, The fountain is just like empty. It's full of dried leaves. It's got some benches surrounding it, some strewn around shopping carts. And there's like a like a plastic folding domino table with some Mm -hmm. with some chairs uh, for like whenever people are bored and want to hang out with their. uh, Yeah. Okay. So this uh, is, this is, oh. Accessing the apartments is basically on the outside of the building. So think, yeah. um, think uh, enclosed hallways. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. The stairs, if there are, the stairs themselves would be uh, facing the out, like they're out, outdoorsy kind of stairs, right? So you can see when people climb them, but there's also elevators inside of the building. So think, uh, like one elevator in the back to service the entire <laughs> to service the entire thing. Um, hmm. and Ozzie, yeah. yes. Are there cameras anywhere on this premises that I can at least be able to watch the team from? I would say in uh, Little Havana, probably not. Yeah. Okay. So, do you guys, if you have any sort of cyber eyes, uh, glasses, fancy glasses, those are, you're going to be my only eyes out there. Well, I'm hesitant to let you into my cyber eyes, knowing your I'm allegiances. Your cyber eyes too. We're good. Well, do you actually know whistleblowers' allegiances? Oh, do I? Oh, yeah, I don't think you do. Um, yeah. we'll rephrase that. We'll say uh, Angel is rather suspicious of his willingness to dangle me on a rope for Syracuse. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, you're the last person I want in my eyes, buddy. Well, as far as you know, that if Syracuse gets to you, that somehow busts me. That's probably because you stole the resources or something and you use my info to get it. Or is that a different thing? That was a different thing. Or was a different thing, no. And uh, basically, like, uh, her mindset is she thinks you're somehow working, like, th- like there's some sort of connection. She doesn't know what it is. But the, the, the willingness to just use her as some sort of live bait 
is giving her all the wrong feelings. Like it's putting a pit in her stomach. Like, mm -hmm. no, 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 no. That is no, 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 no. I've worked with plenty of other hackers, and they don't usually do this. Meanwhile, Blower's eyes. He is the guy who had to tip off the boss who told me to do this. So my yeah, only like here is they won't be convinced unless I actually give her Nini. I actually give her angel in some capacity. I have to prove. And yeah, and the, the thing is, is you never told us about Mimi, so we're all just kind of operating from the mindset of you have something to gain from this. You're not. This isn't self-preservation. You are doing this for personal interests. You have a motive, and the motive is not saving your hide. The motive is I have something to gain. So long Drama. story short. Angel does not give access to her eyes. However, Jusinon no, and mine. Geppetto have anything that they can provide. Do you want to go first, Simon? Oh, I don't have any cyberware uh, in my eyes. What about like glasses or something like that? Contacts? Uh, no, does, does, does not sound like his stuff. Mm -mm, no. So at the very least, maybe what we can do is we could say, uh, did anybody maybe prepare uh, a camera? Like, so it's not yeah, necessarily your eyes, but you could maybe do. Uh, yeah. yeah, you could grab a little. Like just put a put camera. like a 360 camera on one of the okay. clotheslines or something. So mm. uh, let's see if we can find the voice again. Mm. Uh, I um, do have a comlink that um, Whistleblower does tend to contact us on. Uh, that would put them in direct contact with me, um, but that's not necessarily useful for where you might be. I don't intend to necessarily be anywhere near the proceedings once things go down. However, it wouldn't be particularly hard for me to obtain a small... Um, like an edu toy or a small kind of like camera on wheels like a because oh. um, Japan house, that's brilliant houses in the year of our lord 2019 do tend to have many drone cameras that move around so i would figure in the year of our lord 20 xdx it would be very easy to get a to get See, a camera like, on wheels like um Oh god, there's this drone I'm thinking of in our other favorite cyberpunk system, but it looks like a like Never a Never heard of it. Uh, <laughs> I know. Oh, no. Um so and she's like, "Yeah. So, what if we found cuz they're, they're cheap cameras, but they're pretty I can genuinely money. go to the toy store down the road and buy exactly. one." Exactly. You know, like it's like a doll and you just like throw it in a corner. Bam. You know? Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. So, so we, yeah, let's, set, let's, set, that, let's set, set that up ahead of time then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So basically the, right. the preparation ahead of time was you have a couple of toy, toy, cheap toy cams that you've set up around the interior mm. courtyard. Yeah. Or mm. where, where would you, whistleblower, where would you like to see? I know that you would genuinely like to see everywhere this is a surveillance state, but if you had to whistle it down to maybe two or three locations, um, two to three locations. I need to see the courtyard. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe not necessarily the street. The main entrance to the building, like where they can come in. Mm -hmm. um, they would enter through the courtyard. And... All right, so we got the courtyard, but I'm saying like the interior, like once they're in, like the entrance. Oh, there. like the uh, where um, the elevator would be. Yeah, so like mm -hmm. in, yes. the, in the back of the U, basically. Because I want to be able to see how, if they manage to get into the building and how they progress, um, as well as see the courtyard. Um, can, can, is the courtyard big enough for vehicles? It could be. Is it? Okay. Like, are we talking like a vehicle presently could drive through, or are we talking like somebody takes an armored car and runs it through the wall type of it would fit? <laughs> it would be able to. to very... It would be able to park inside of the courtyard if it wanted to. Okay, so so what an idea would be um my, my, oh go ahead oh um so the second I heard about this courtyard because it's at least closed on three sides yeah am, am mm -hmm. I right in that yes we need to get them into this courtyard because then it will be like shooting fish in a barrel literally we have them in a in a controlled space and if we can keep them in there we know where they are 
and we can let all hell break loose in a somewhat contained area. What, what hell do you intend to break loose? I thought that the plan of this was letting them shoot each other. Where they do it, exactly. where they, where they do the that thing. isn't so much of our concern. Mm, see, if we keep, if we kind of keep them in that little area we can no no i do understand what you're saying okay yeah, yeah. well it's easy enough for me to go and find a toy drone that i can clip to one of the um uh washing lines that crisscross along the middle yeah. um placing another toy somewhere near the elevator hallway may be somewhat conspicuous but we'll see where that goes and i suppose you'd want one in the room where i'm leaving the uh cat um i was gonna say carapace the chassis <laughs> of express well it was debatable yes. for that or the street um us. You're going to have or to you could also have a, or you could also have a carry like a mobile camera on Sinon or mm -hmm. somebody, or the bot because the bot's the bait, isn't it? Mm. The, the well, that would be that would be the easiest place to put the camera for for the one in the room. So let's do that. That's fine. Okay. okay, so one hanging to a drying line outside, one in the elevator corridor, and one inside the chassis of Express. Give me about half an hour, and I can get that set up for you. Oh, fun. Um, while... Is anybody going to be watching the streets? Like, where are they going to be coming in? Well, I didn't have a Cuba Libra today, so maybe I can have one casually in the bar across the road while you <laughs> all get dangerously close to an actual gun. <laughs> it's fine. Um, I can either be positioned towards the street or in a, we'll just affectionately call it the bullpen. Um, Which way I, do you... I where... think that uh, an adjacent building, if we can get access to an, like a nearby slightly taller than this building, that would be mm -hmm. better. That would be nice. But um, Oz, you can let me Definitely. know if that's something that we could try. Yeah. I would say uh, that would maybe be... Hmm. Yeah, because we're in... Um, yeah. Actually, I just thought... I just thought... Um... Mm -hmm. hey. Are you going to be Who? like, we, we need to be thinking of an escape route. What I don't do know, Nathan. No, I'm teasing. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I'm not talking to a scary voice. I'm trying to keep that to a minimum. So, um, okay. So, Oz, are there basically back exits in this building or just sets of buildings? Yeah, um, you can think like the outside of that U shape building is all of the main halls that lead into the apartments so they would for sure have exits okay. the interior um, courtyard is lots of crisscrossing clotheslines which by the way angel if you were or if any of you were to like tug at them you could be like i could slide from one window to another if i wanted to yeah I'm very well yeah. and so she knows that she's like Ooh, sturdy Ooh. and she gets like this wild look in her eyes just like <laughs> Time to be a stupid so, kid. Um, yes. So, or to pedo by extension, I was gonna say we want to have at least one more camera on the escape route, and I'm gonna just research a way to get out of the building in case things get heated or we we get them into the bait enough. Mm -hmm. uh, that feels like a conversation you should be having with Sinan about their escape route. Mm -hmm. After all, they're the person will... who's gonna have to do the run out of the building. Which I will yeah. have now. So I'm assuming you put me in contact with Sinon in some fashion. Uh, yeah, you can you can have my number to call me. That's fine. That works too. So I shall turn on scary voice now. Oh no, not scary voice. Sinon, the last phase of the plan is your escape route. What do you have in mind? Uh, Oz, what floor are we on on this uh, abandoned apartment? Or this uh, artificially empty apartment? Uh, I don't know if we established that. Let's say 20th yeah. floor. Oh, okay. how many floors are there? 35. 35. It's a oh. cyberpunk. Usually, okay, usually these buildings, like, real world would be, like, I was thinking it was, floors. like, maybe four floors max, yeah, no. but 35 I got a cyberpunk a it, you know? Cyberpunk future, oh, it's 35 yes. stories high. <laughs> Um, so, honestly, the plan was to sort of slip by um, everyone uh, as they're busy with each other and just literally book it down the stairs and then ditch the disguise. Yeah. Cool. cool. Uh, question. Did Were you still planning on putting a bomb inside of the uh, Express? Absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> 
Dang it. Yeah, that would draw a little too much attention. <laughs> right, so it's just a it would genuinely defeat the purpose of having the express. Yeah. I remember that. that that was under discussion, so. That mm -hmm. was under discussion because okay. I, I am a terrible person. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So, so I think then here to to summarize, um, uh, Sinon is going to be at the apartment with the chassis, okay. uh, dressed as Angel. Uh, Whistleblower is going to be watching on the cameras. Geppetto is going to be across the street in a bar uh, on the patio, where so that he can uh, give us or they they can give us first warning mm -hmm. um, if anybody's rolling up in a black van that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Um, Angel, how about go up to floor 35 or, yep. you know, or the roof if we can get access to it and then just yeah. sort of watch the courtyard. Um, yep. super stealth it up. Thank like, you. Yeah. if you have like a, like bury yourself in rooftop gravel. <laughs> I was, um, I was thinking, <laughs> uh, I don't think like a tarp would be super out of place on the roof of this building, like a blue tarp. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's uh, good. Yeah, I mean, yeah, this, I'm gonna this is a... hide myself under one of those, and it definitely helps that. Uh, and she kind of just raises hotline. Kind of helps that it doesn't have a scope. That that's all in here. So mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the, yeah, the, I'll the get up there. Cool. The important thing to remember uh, is that. Uh, well, you remember the job with Ziggurat where we, you know, flew out of one of their blimps. Uh, they've got mm -hmm. a lot of eyes yeah, in yeah. the sky. Yeah. Um. Definitely, yeah. I can, I can kind of just shut things off if need be. Uh, okay. We'll I will do my best to focus on stragglers. Anybody running after you gets a gets a bullet right here. But it's not my yeah. favorite thing. But it's better I than know, the alternative. I would rather that. Well, yeah. I mean. <laughs> Rather, I mean, this, this plan is not for me to get captured. Let's, let's, uh, yeah, yeah, so. the, yeah. And um, if uh, if some rena cops die, some rena cops die. That's yeah. their fault. They got so, in front of the gun. So final reminders, um, whistleblower. You still have an intel regarding the safe house uh, in this particular. We can say that in this particular building. So if you ever want to spend your intel, you can to get a plus one on a roll of some kinds regarding the. Uh, the building uh and last but not least uh to our audience actually two things for our audience one we would like you to role play in chat uh the civilians that are roaming around inside of or around Ooh. the solar uh or maybe at the bar hanging around geppetto or uh yeah essentially those those people that are you know background that maybe they can interact with that our players can interact with uh, just as long as you know you don't interrupt their scene and like you know uh, and finally other thing you can also help our team by supporting our channel donations bits uh, it's really easy yeah, you can do subs. it just yeah. like this oh oh, oh. demo oh oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, snap. Oh, and every good. time that this stream boss is defeated, your name gets put in lights, and we grant a re-roll to the team so that they can re-roll their dice, which uh, nice. this system very much requires. <laughs> yeah, re-rolls re are very helpful. Re-rolls are life. All right. Uh, so. so it's kind of like this. Ozzy, we still Damn. have a re-roll left over, if I remember right. Yes, we still. it's right there in your uh, your collective pool. So if you Ooh. use it, <laughs> we're just <laughs> bam. Donating Thank you to Tower House. You know what? Just... <laughs> <laughs> Pay to win. Hey, I'm hey, right. I don't want me? to. I don't want to perish in this scenario. Oh, mm -hmm. Me either. I will do my damnedest to keep you alive, Sinon. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So thanks for all of that support, um, and you <laughs> all have two rerolls to play with. So. Let's oh. set the stage. <laughs> Let's make sure Angel at least has a hood on. We don't want them thinking there's two of them. That was the plan. Uh, my only other prep question is, uh, do I need to roll something for the disguise or when they see me? Uh, tell me how your disguise ability works or you broadcast it into the... so we um, can all see it. Yeah, I will have to figure out which one of these moves it is. I think. 
These are great questions. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> They're probably I'm incredibly sorry for the important. Delay. Go ahead and set the scene while I figure. Okay. Uh. All right. I don't know whether it's uh, something worth setting up a little bit in advance. Um, yeah. But we talked near the end of the <clears throat> uh, the end of the previous session uh, about uh, putting the. Um, basic kind of toy function, the toy level AI of a constructor gym uh, inside the chassis of the Express. So it still functions. It's so, you know, yeah. it'll follow very basic instructions. Um, Excellent. I don't know if that's a thing that we can just have, whether we need to make a role to program it or any of that kind of stuff. Nah, I think we're good. Cool. That's fine. Just checking. All right. So you in, you yeah. specialize by infiltrating in by yeah in places you do not belong, hiding in plain sight. Blah. Okay. So after you spent all your covert entry hold infiltrating, gotcha. Okay. Mm-hmm. So why don't we go ahead and That's do your the, covert the entry I could move? Find. Yeah. Let's do your covert entry Ooh. move because this is probably very important. When you attempt to infiltrate a secure area alone, roll cool. Uh, it's not exactly what I would call an infiltration. Uh, but given the situation, I think uh, this is a covert ops situation that I would like you to have some hold f- okay. <laughs> potentially. Yeah, it, it was either it was either this or it was going to be a you know a basic conduct an operation you know kind of thing. Right. Mm-hmm. And you okay, have so oh, but you also have your disguise kit equipment here. Plus yes, one ongoing. Yes, it gives me plus one forward. Yeah. To avoid oh, being detected. On, ongoing, better. Yeah. Okay, so what what uh, stat is this for covert entry? Sorry. Uh, roll cool. Uh, cool. Cause you're so cool, Palmer. You're so good cool. speed. He's yeah. got to keep his cool rather. All right. Yeah. Eight, nine, ten. That's hey, good. you Ooh! did it. So you gain three holds, and to remind oh our God. audience That's what three awesome. hold does, and you can use a hold to bypass a security system or guard, disable a security system you've bypassed, yes. disable a guard, or escape notice. Mm-hmm. Very important. Oh, and <laughs> very. So presumably, uh, and presumably, I now look similar enough. To oh, me. we we look mm-hmm. like identical twins, bud. <laughs> yeah. You did my makeup, I see. Absolutely. You look great, Dad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, she, oh, that's she, a very she, complicated she, sentence. We don't have time to unpack all that. I know. <laughs> I know. She's just goofing. And uh, she pulls up her hood, just gives him a quick hug, like, don't die, okay? Famous last uh, words. <laughs> oh, you. Hmm. Watch out for I smash that calm. And then so, she scurries up to the top floor. Uh, yep. Hides under a kind of tarp with the rifle, and yeah, is right. now lying in wait. All right. Uh, as a reminder, that disguise kit. Uh, well, we'll say the uh, plus one to avoid being detected means that like they don't realize that you are a decoy. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> All right. And so we'll uh, figure out what just, it is. What just it is while you need we're setting the scene. Situation. Mm-hmm. By the way, I should probably stress, Angel, I hope you hold your shots as long as you can until they shoot at each other. You should start shooting if the run if the if the, if the I know is fragged. Exactly. <laughs> and like I said, anybody who chases after Sinon is going to get a bullet right here. It's very <laughs> simple. <laughs> Do you have a silencer? Please tell me you have a silencer. Yes, I have a silencer. <laughs> okay. What kind of sniper do you think I am? I thought Sinon was supposed to be the dad here. Angel, you God, don't know you know who have all faith. Ugh. <laughs> Hackers, stick you to your day job. <laughs> so, Geppetto, the uh, the yes. bar that you are sitting at uh, is currently um, playing some. Uh, it would have to be like some, you know, bossa nova, like Ooh, super yeah. chill yeah. and calm. And you're sitting mm-hmm. there drinking uh, your. Uh, actually, I had a Cuba Libre <laughs> last time. Let's have a mojito yeah. this time. Mojito. Ooh, hey. good. Yeah, um, it's not I, a great mojito. This- no. We don't need good mojitos. There's been a, a wardrobe change. 
uh, because obviously addressing the part in any given scene is very important for Geppetto's character and, to, and their soul just generally. Um, so they are in uh, pretty smart and uh, well-pressed white linen trousers and uh, dad sandals um with a smart fabric hawaiian t-shirt so it's got like a, a print of like a palm palms on the beach kind of scene and the palms gently sway, sway. in the yes. wind on, on the fabric <laughs> it is maximum dad <laughs> they're also wearing a straw hat that they've got relatively low oh <laughs> that's beautiful god All that's right. beautiful so our people in chat feel free to uh role play any of the uh the people within this bar as mm -hmm. well as uh, around the scenario. So, a Geppetto, you as you as you're maybe halfway through your mojito, mm -hmm. maybe your second mojito even because you're you've been sitting there in wait. <laughs> um, a an armored black van pulls up to the very front of the of the solar. It doesn't go into the courtyard, but uh, a about uh, let's say six people in line suits. Thanks for that follow. Mm -hmm. uh, about six people in line suits exit this van, and uh, hmm. you see that they are. Uh, they are holding uh <laughs> they're holding uh submachine guns right now and they also have on <laughs> okay. their on their uh hips they're holding a heavy pistol uh mm -hmm. and it also looks like they have uh some clips with some uh some grenades on them but they don't mm -hmm. look like explosive mm -hmm. grenades so you're mm -hmm. thinking they're probably some kind of uh non -lethal. smoke or chaff yeah yeah um so uh geppetto uh angles the um mojito next to an ashtray quite artfully in the evening sun and gets out their comlink and looks like they're taking an instagram photo but instead tech group texts the rest of the oh. chat being like ah oh, yes um uh six six boys um mm -hmm. <laughs> with subs and uh pistols and smoke grenades five question marks mm. which, angel is which, angel just perks up uh are they in my view oz yes you would definitely see them okay uh, so the... angel's cyber eyes start like kind of doing that zooming thing the aperture changes a few times until she gets them in focus it's pretty quick mm. oh actually eyes. sorry Wonderful. sorry to interrupt um, Sonnen brought up a good point. Uh, which team? Um, is there a way for me to be able to identify which company they're working for? Well, okay, so we have we have Memgold and we have Syracuse. Do they look cigarette. like boys from your company? Do Syracuse they look like Ziggurat. Oh, Syracuse whoopsies. Ziggurat, yeah. uh, well, you, based off information that um, Whistleblower got you when he, uh, mm -hmm. when he, uh, looked into their comms. Uh, this mm -hmm. seems similar to the same black van line suits description of when Ziggurat came in and Eagle okay. described those people as well. Um, okay. So you're going to assume that this is a Ziggurat. Yeah. Okay. The delivery boys are here. Oh! I should be able to know my own security forces or something. That is true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, did... When you, on the remark of the delivery boys, Angel just kind of just quietly just kind of mumbles. So uh, it's like Texas Beach. Oh, did they bring pizza? I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> She's like trying to use levity to like take some stress off uh -huh. of herself. Internally, um, she's combusting, but. Geppetto <laughs> turns around to take a selfie and just carefully angles the, the van Ooh. in the shot and nice. takes a selfie. Beautiful. Hey, like a little piece <laughs> going with the mojito. Um, <laughs> and then goes back to kind of like orders the third and is like, this is a bad idea. Um, it's time to get a little sleepy, actually. Oof. Yeah, and like it's people. different. Cool. People at your bar are like noticing this commotion because there's, mm -hmm. you know, armored black van and like in formation, they like walk through that courtyard and they're like leveraging their Come on, uh, ladies, now their let's SMGs. Get information. <laughs> <laughs> and suddenly you uh an angel, you're probably gonna be the first one to hear it. You hear a 
and it's approaching, and you suddenly feel like this wind, like starting to like tug at your tarp, and a helicopter zooms over and just like she's holding the tarp down, just kind of hovers over the building, and the people at the bottom look up. As uh, three lines come down from the helicopter, <laughs> oh, and like operatives come down, uh, holding a holding. <laughs> Actually, it's gonna be two two operatives, because uh, I want to make sure I got this. Just two boys. Two operatives. Okay. Yeah, two oh, operatives. Uh, Just two boys. With two operatives, <laughs> heavily armored in riot mm-hmm. gear, with uh, mm-hmm. shotguns. <laughs> shotguns. Shotguns. Oh okay. Shotguns. And what they land. Approach. Yeah. And they land mm-hmm. on the roof. You. Um, oh my god. <laughs> Angel, you okay. are Yo. you are. Are you just like hiding under this tarp? Or are you trying to get a better look at what's going on with that helicopter? Um. Oof. That's a good one. Like, um. Upon kind of figuring out that it's a fucking helicopter. Uh, I am kind of just holding the tarp down. Yeah. And, and it's kind like of listening. And it's like it's like threatening to just like flip off and reveal oh. you. So you're um, just like, oh she's god, like, oh god. Kind of like uh as she's also holding the tarp down, she's kind of getting her pistol and her sword ready just in case. Mm-hmm. But it's 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 nothing huge. She's kind of hoping for the best here. Uh, uh, but, Angel, uh, gets a, Angel gets a Angel gets a um, Sinon's been standing on the uh, yeah, and uh, the, 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 oh. the, the balcony part um, of the courtyard. Um, as a, Ozzie, I will, ca- I will cash, I will cash that intel now, please. Actually, okay, wait, hold on. Oh, okay. Before you do, Sinon, what did yep. you want to finish saying? Okay. Um, so that's uh, he's just sort of been standing there, and he sort of you know he spots them, the helicopter coming uh, after Angel mm-hmm. does, and he just sends a quick um, message to Angel directly. It's just like yeah. Victoria, stay cool. And uh, she just kind of types something out by using like, it's like a swipe keyboard with her eyes. Just like, I'll try. This is scary. <laughs> you got this. Ozzy, okay. I would love to cash yes. in that until now. Go All for right. it. So how I would like to cash it in is I would like to know about any potential hiding places or cover on the roof that um, if need be, Angel can duck behind it. Uh, sure. Go ahead and give me an assess roll. That's uh, edge. Oh, okay. And you get a plus oh, one forward on that. Me out? Crazy. Uh, plus one forward. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. See, I'm not entirely heartless against you. Amazing. <laughs> you have some. <laughs> oh my god. Plus one forward. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Ten. Me. That forward was perfect. All right, so you get three holds, uh, which you can, uh, you get three holds. You can go ahead and spend a hold at any time to ask me a question. So you don't have to spend all three of them right now, but you get plus one forward when, and I I, I would say that anybody, when including Angel, I guess. yeah, when this information gets acted upon, you they get a plus one forward. So you can, I assume, you want to ask a question now along the lines of, yep. yeah, where where is good like cover that is out of the line of sight to where they're planning mm-hmm. to go down the building? Yeah, where where can I move and uh, what is you, what kind of feet? Do we have like dormers that I could either crawl in or hide behind? Or air conditioner dormers yeah. yeah what is a uh, dormer uh okay so you know that thing that comes out of a roof like juts out from the diagonal part of a roof that like has a window that's a dormer juts out from a diagonal or, part i would say no okay or alternatively like uh, air conditioner units yeah you would top. see air conditioner units you would also see cool just gave us 800 bits and gave you all another yeah. re-roll. Cool, thank you oh i'm hey, yeah. bits. You. that's cute thank you cool so Thank thanks. All right. So you're Girl, at three girls. So um, what the other th- other things that you would be able to hide under uh, or behind would be, you know, how like um, on a rooftop, there's like that section that the stairs would lead into. It's mm-hmm. like a yeah. So mm-hmm. you have some walls yeah. potentially that you could hide behind oh. there. Yeah. Um, it's not a very wide space, but it's, you know, if anything, you could also duck into the building For if like- you need to. It's perfect for like a kind of lithe trans girl mm-hmm. to uh, kind of just so, crawl in. And I so think also, you get a text. wait, and also you might 
see people hang out on this roof all the time, so maybe there's like a somebody probably has like a little gardening kind of shed, or just mm-hmm. there would probably be a shed uh, for okay. for different uh, gardening tools, etc. That uh, and like somebody has done like little makeshift uh, shitty garden. <laughs> For, uh, so that they could have no. some kind oh, of no, produce. No, not Shitty Garden. Listen, no, if these no, two no, boys no. disturb Shitty Garden, I'm going <laughs> ape shit. Well, um, will either of them require crossing their line of sight potentially? Uh, I mean, there's always that possibility that they'll be that she'll be caught. She'll have to do an act under pressure to avoid oh. being caught. Uh-huh. But she'll have a plus okay. one forward because she yeah. has your your I info. I got fancy legs. And, and Hell yeah! Legs, so yeah, um, we got rerolls. I've got fancy legs. Um, being caught isn't the worst thing, but I would prefer not to be. We'll just say that. Mm-hmm. So Angel, you get a text that says "Take cover here now," and you see like a little AR arrow pointing mm-hmm. to Ooh. Uh, that location. She, so first off, she's like, "Oh shit, that's so cool!" Like about the AR thing, but uh, she's just kind of nods, and you get like a kind of a nodding emoji yep. back oh, on boy. your. Move quiet, yeah. move quick. Uh, so, uh, then I guess I would like to move there. All right, give me an act under pressure. You have a plus one forward. Act and under whistleblower, pressure. Whistleblower, you still okay. have two assess holds, so make sure you jot that down somewhere. So, act under pressure. That would be rolling cool. Yep. All right, and I have a plus one forward from my leggies. Let's go. That's a three. Would you like to spend a reroll? Oh, yeah, because that's snake eyes. What the hell? My rolls are just always horrid. All right. Okay, let's try that again. Back to two rerolls. I can't can't believe this. Hey, that's much better. That's a a nine. Uh, So she is going to, like, shimmy out from under the tarp. Just really, really... Yeah. Um... So you stumble on a nine. You stumble, hesitate, or flinch. The MC mm-hmm. will offer you a worse outcome, hard bargain, or ugly choice. Ooh. So, <laughs> um, let's see. You're. I'll give you the. I'll give you the ugly choice. Oh. You can. Okay. You can choose to uh, make it to the cover, but you will be spotted. Mm-hmm. Or. You can choose to, um, okay. the other ugly choice would be you can, uh, your instincts tell you that maybe a better option to not be seen is to go over the edge of the building. Mm. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> over the edge of like throw myself off. And well, like, hang on, hang on, like, hang on off the roof. You won't be seen. Uh, like, it's, it's right I've there. It's close to you. Got and you can the hang. one cyber arm. And here's here's mm. what I'll, to, to better illustrate. Um, yeah. You would be hanging off um, inside of the oh. courtyard and you can easily swing into the apartment because the windows are open. OK, so um I'll say just for this, because we have uh, Angel is like, uh, she sends a quick message to uh, Sinan. Hang in window, question mark. And I'm I'm guessing by what I'm seeing here, it's all caps, do it. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, Stacey, (laughs) we got we got to go for it. So she, uh, so she's going to, she's going to hang under there with her cyber arm kind of waiting, Mm -hmm. uh, watching above to see if they get close to the edge. They don't. They, you were able to do a slick, like this is basically what the act under pressure allowed you to do. It allowed you to do a slick hang off, but now I want to do another, but I want you to do another act under pressure to like, okay. Oh, I, I assume oh that what God. you're planning on doing it. Do you, did you want to go into the building or did you just want to stay hanging there? Because the courtyard, um, uh, you're in the interior courtyard. So if those ziggurat people. Okay, so if I'm in the interior they courtyard. Might, okay, spot you. Yeah, they, they don't. They Ziggurat doesn't want me. So. Hmm. Ziggurat they wants. Know what they're gonna yeah, do you don't know what Ziggurat you. wants. Well, I mean, you know what Z- you know true. Ziggurat wants Express. 
and uh, that's what you they're all here know for. We're but I don't feel like, um, but I, our, we are wanted by Zig. Shit. But but if you're wearing a hood, they may not identify you. Particularly. True, that is true. And um, yeah, she's like changed the color of her hair since then as well. Mm. She's not the angel that stole express but she's still angel uh mm -hmm. so she's just gonna swing down into the interior courtyard uh kind of post up in a window okay uh not looking down the sight of her gun at all but she's just kind of in that room all right give give me another act under pressure oh my to be God. able to do that final swing in because that the the ugly choice here had to be that you have to do a second roll to be able to exactly i know and do i get a forward on this because uh, that is that is also athleticism do you have anything mm. that gives you a plus one on i mean a, a forward on athleticism uh and when you're enhanced that's the legs again oh nice it's my leggies my nice. leggies my leggies are Spectacular. Yeah. Feel, free I love to, them. feel free to broadcast anything so that way, like, we can. Yep. Uh, let me let me broadcast are... my leggies really quick. Like, yeah. uh, oh, let man. me. I love to broadcast my legs. <laughs> uh, me too. That's why I'm wearing shorts, buddy. Yeah. When your enhanced uh, athleticism isn't... could help you act under pressure, take plus one forward. Go yep, for it. That is. That isn't is. There, uh, isn't there also an one. option for you to roll synth if you're instead of cool? I'm not sure if that's true or not. Us. That's, oh. That's, that's me here. That's me. Dang it. I'm, I'm needing Angel to might pick have something. that ability to you. Oh, what is it? What's it called? Know. I don't know. Uh, I don't see I wondered anything. If, I One sec. I'll, I'll check would. for you. Okay. Because my synth is true. Yeah, let's see. Cyber oh, arm. Oh, I could. I yeah, have the arm that's and that's for, that's for, that's for smacking a guy. It's for damage. That's so then, for, no. That's for hitting a okay. boy. Um, okay, cool. Thanks. No, nope, I think I'm good. All right. Hmm. All right, so All right. take plus Let's one act forward. under pressure. Yep, plus one forward. Come on, baby. Hey! Ooh. 11! That's a 12! Oh, it's a 12! That's, a, six, that's oh. a 12, bitch! Which means that your so, cyber uh, legs... Yeah. So my legs kick in, and I just, like... So I slide down on the edge, kind of like Mega Man slide, just like, woo! <laughs> nice. And, uh... Hang on, um, I kind of like do like a little bit like a, you know, like a gymnast on the bars. I grab mm -hmm. the roof and just go whoop and tumble mm -hmm. in fucking silently and uh, just sent just broadcast a message to everybody with like a picture of where I am. Nailed yeah. it. So you're in you're in an apartment. Uh, you basically like tuck and roll onto like this linoleum tile floor and you hear. No, wait, wait. I land on a couch. I land on a haphazardly placed couch. Sure. That is on linoleum tile. And uh, you hear the tenant inside of the building is in the shower. Shit. OK, now or inside of that apartment is in the shower. Now you rolled a 12 on your cyber legs, so you mm. gain one holds, which you can spend oh. as described in the move assess. Oh, and I get an, I get a synth on my assess instead, given my cyber eyes. So I get plus one. So I get, yeah, yeah. So, uh. Yo, oh. all right. So yeah. did you want to, uh. Anyways. I would love to assess my situation. Uh, I'm going to kind of, uh, we'll say we pull, since these are cyber eyes from a camera maker, we're going to pull the focal length out to about 24 millimeters and start looking around just, you know, kind of scanning the place really quick, like. The, the apartment um, or the courtyard, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to uh, the apartment so I know mm -hmm. what I can do. All right. So, which of these questions would you like to ask? Um, let's see. Oh, I haven't rolled my assess yet. You don't have to. Oh, okay. You have a hold as though it were for an assess, so you can, because of your oh. athleticism, you have the ability to yeah, assess. Yeah. I just okay. So I get one of those. Uh, hmm. Or you can hold on to your hold if you want. Oh yeah, no, no. Uh, I would actually like to know how can avoid how can i avoid trouble or hide uh specifically hide how can i conceal myself from the uh tenant of this building worst case scenario and i assume you still want the ability to snipe uh shoot a bitch shoot, shoot a bitch shoot. absolutely the only yeah like the only available window is the one that you just like zoomed in from yeah so 
if you don't want to be caught, you're e you're going to have to you're going to have to uh, disable the tenant in some way. Uh, okay. Um, or, or you, you know, leave this apartment and try and find some another position. Ozzy. Yeah. Um, I will cash in one of those holds now. Um, I would like to know who the resident is of this apartment that she is in. Mm. Ooh. Okay. Uh, so I'm like, okay. So we'll say I, uh, I, I do like a big wide angle, like panorama shot of where I am. You know how like a, mm -hmm. like on a 360 camera and I send it to whistleblower be like, okay, so what can you do with this? Uh, I tell you, <laughs> give me the dirt. Uh, sit, I tell you, sit still. Just give me a moment. Mm -hmm. Just like, so she's just kind of like sitting, like laying on the couch. Like it's like, it's a fainting couch. Yeah. Uh, the, the tenant is Jose Cuevas. He is, let's see. He is a 21 year old struggling artist. Oh, oh, oh. You see like, you see, um, you see like, yeah, you see like uh, photograph prints that are like plastered along the wall. Um, yeah. Oh, he's a <laughs> I just realized like, oh yeah. Yeah, so he's a photographer. Oh, that's my boy. Cool. Yeah. Um, that's my boy. And uh, um, he he is you. of he is of Bolivian descent. Ooh, Bolivian photographer, very cool. Uh, I almost kind of want to make friends with this guy, and that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so. You don't have to ruin his life. I know, and I don't no, want no, no. to. I, I got an idea. Um, all right, so Ozzy, mm -hmm. can you tell me just off the top of my head, are there notable uh, photography studios I'd be interested in his work potentially? Ooh. Off the top of your head, no. Does he, does does he need a cute cyborg model? <laughs> Do you see any kind of business? Do you see any kind of business card or anything? Or does Jose have uh, like a flag that he's worked with this studio before? Oh, um, is there? Yeah. You'd have to, yeah. If you, oh yeah, no, for sure. Uh, because you're you're using it. You're using yeah. your assess to tell me about mm. tell about that person. Um. Where, which of the questions was it? The assess questions. Uh, what I wanted to know is how can I hide in here? No, sorry, I meant me whistleblowers I question. Because oh. it's not okay, about like so... who is this person. All right, so I'll, I'll tell you what I'm trying to do. So this is why I'm trying to get this information off you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make a fake phone call to him that he's got oh. a chance to get one of his photos, basically. Um, <laughs> I'm going to oh do a God. phone call and get him to leave the room. It's like, okay, we got this opportunity for you, but you have to come right now. The manager's like one of my uh, art guys is here. He's an art critic. He is gotcha. right here right now. He wants to talk to you. Gotcha. Uh, I would say that this wasn't necessarily an evade. I mean, a, an assess thing. I would say that this is more of a research move. So oh I would God, say but... don't spend your hold if that was the case. Um, mm. I can do my That's... research move then. Yeah. Here we go. Do I get a forward? Uh, no. This is good. This is very what? good. <laughs> Unless you have something that <laughs> that poor guy is going to come out of the shower and be like, shit, <laughs> because listen, a as a photographer, if somebody calls me with this shit. I'm out the door. Mm -hmm. Bye. See ya. I did not indeed notice that cyborg on, you know, on my couch. She can stay there for all that I care. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just do research. I don't think I have anything else, unless you let me have the intel for the forward. When you use research to search internal, externally stored data, you can gain an extra intel on a hit. Okay. So you still need to roll. You just get a bigger yeah, you reward if you roll. succeed. But yeah, I'm rolling that past hold that I spent. I'm saying don't spend that assess hold because yeah, none right. of these assess right. questions really, right. really. No, uh, no. No. Five. I'm like to reroll, please. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That was a moment of uh sometimes sometimes we're uh we do a stupid and that's fine. That's a bit better. Eight. Seven. That's, uh, that's a lot better. Eight, yeah. That's a seven, five, that's eight. Six, seven, eight. That's an eight. Yes. That'll work. Research. So on an eight, uh you take Intel and then the MC will you answer take two your intel. question. Yes, and I get an because... extra intel because of my my implant. Right, so you get two intel on Ooh. Jose Cuevas 
Uh, so we'll say one of them was the was all of that information about who he was. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Uh, sure. Or no, well, no, because the reason that you researched him was to. Okay, so your questions would then be who employed blank, right? That's one of your research questions. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so you find the you find the photography studio. So that's one hold, and then uh, I would say you still have a second hold if you need it, or if you want to use it. Okay. Um, I still have that other those two holds. Um, I still need to save those for the apartment. Um, okay, now I, I, I think this will work for now. Um, yeah. Unless one of those intels gets me like a known critic. Oh, yeah, like what is the relationship between blank and blank? Yeah, uh, we could say like between Jose Cuevas and the the, uh, the critic, uh, the Cleo, <laughs> Cleo Petty. Cleo Petty. Okay. All right, that that's more than enough. Um, so the relationship go is and... the relationship is he's been trying to uh, he's been trying to get Cleo's attention for a long time, and mm-hmm. uh, she's responded with interest in some time, but she doesn't really say or seem to follow through. He's always <laughs> like, "Sometime, eventually, I'll get to you." All right, so um, I'm gonna make a fake call from the studio. I might have to do a hacky thing to make that fake call happen. Um, what would you like me to do? Compromise security? Or sure. Manipulate systems. Uh, what? yeah, let's do. Uh, manip- I think it would be manipulate systems then. There's yeah, that. I would say it's manipulate system. Or, you know what? I mean, let's let's think about that. I want to. I want to hold because I. I want to shift the scene over. Um, sure. Sure. And if anything, we could just say. I mean, it's. I don't think that this would be a hard move to do. You're a hacker. I would say that you could just do this. Yeah, it's spoof, a spoof a phone number. Yeah. Let's just do that. So you spoof a phone number. You make the phone. You. you so Angel, you hear. Um, you hear a comm link ring. Yeah. In the shower. Uh, and... it's coming from the bathroom probably, and mm-hmm. I'm just like, oh shit, and I like <laughs> scramble to hide somewhere. Good thing I'm tiny. I tell yeah. you, stay down. I'm. I'm the one making the call. Just like whoop. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you like hide behind a, a whatever, in a in a closet. A little voice filter. <laughs> potted potted plant. <laughs> <laughs> to, like pose behind a plant just like <laughs> nice. set, send a picture to, to uh, Geppetto you will not believe where my ass is right now <laughs> mm. okay um pick up <laughs> oh uh sorry uh oh hi hi what hey hey Cleo hi sorry I was just in the shower um, hi, Jose. Um, I just wanted to call you because I got back into town. I have a filter on, by the way. Uh-huh. Um, I wanted to call you because I got back into town today, and I've got some time opened up on my schedule, but I only have about 20 minutes, so I need you to come by the studio if you want to show me your work. Oh, uh, right now. You gotta run. Uh, uh, yeah, sure. I will be right there. This is awesome. Thank you so much. Very good. See you soon. Just scrambles to hang up the phone, um, and Angel he just is, like uh, to herself, just like actually hoping he gets a contract soon. The poor kid, because his photos yeah. are actually really yeah. nice. Where, 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 where did you hide, Angel? Uh, and she's like, like typing out, "I am currently in some photographer's apartment." It's no, I'm. Blah. I, I, I guess I'm asking out of character just quickly because yeah. uh, closet was one of the places suggested that yeah. you hide. And but then she said, get plot, she said potted plant. So she's okay. like, so potted she's plant. like kind of behind, Me. like a she's behind like a fike, like a ficus Benjamina with like a really oh, thick cool. trunk, and she's just like. <laughs> Just, right. just making sure there wasn't a circumstance where he decided to get some clothes and just found a tiny girl instead. 
Right. Well, so he, uh, you, yeah. So you spot like this, uh, this naked guy just like run out of the bathroom, scrambling. He's wet. He's just dripping water all over the linoleum. He like even she, like she, slips she puts for a little a filter bit over her cyber eyes because she doesn't want to see that. Yeah. He slips and falls like, oh fuck, uh, uh, and he just like runs into the bed, into uh, into his armoire to grab like uh, any. Angel outfit feels that he can. really bad for this poor boy. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> Poor and boy. Oh no. Grabs like a towel out of the kitchen and starts uh, like scrubbing his hair. Uh, he's so panicked <laughs> that he wouldn't actually uh, potentially even notice you. So. Uh, mm, Angel feels just so bad for him. Oh God. So while you Bye-bye. are, <laughs> while you're hiding, uh, Sinon. What you are currently, yes. what you're currently seeing from your point of view, and Geppetto as well. What you're seeing from your points of view mm-hmm. are the um, Ziggurat is reporting to their people, obviously, that there are intruders that they don't know who this, they don't know, uh, they don't know who, who's, who this is, basically, that has just come in on a helicopter. The people on the helicopter are uh, currently banging into the. Um, into the the entrance of the of the mm-hmm. of the roof, and they tactically enter. Uh, mm-hmm. So there, those two are in the building. The Geppetto, mm-hmm. you yes. also see oh. the helicopter. There is a third individual who uh, sets up a tripod and a sniper rifle and aims it down into oh. the courtyard. Hmm. Woo! Are we going to have a sniper duel? No, we're not doing that. We're not doing a sniper duel. I'm not that. It seems that we have an additional unit in the helicopter. A sniper? Mm -hmm. Question marks. And uh, Angel just replies, ah, sniper duel. And uh, and they're just in parentheses, fuck no. (laughs) I suppose you'd know, I suppose you'd know, Angel, um, what would be, hmm, the best way to distract or foil a sniper? Um, she's going to ask just a series of questions like, does it look like he has a scope? I, I guess um, this is me, by the way, I'm messaging you directly. It's not a group mm-hmm. chat. Um, yeah, no, and Angel is, yeah, and she's happy to, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I'm not quite sure if I can see that from this angle, but there is definitely a tripod being set up. Hmm. So she's just going to kind of think to herself, okay, is he sniping with his eyes or is he going to be using a scope? And she just, after a couple seconds, she replies, if anybody could get a mirror and mount some light into that guy's eyes, that would at least distract him for a little bit while he has to adjust, even if he's got cyber eyes, it's like a long text, like even Mm -hmm. if he's got cyber Mm -hmm. eyes, like he's going to have to adjust the aperture or something of those eyes to make use of them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, actually, since he's firing from, is this tri- excuse me, is this tripod being set up on the helicopter or on the roof? On the helicopter. Yes. Um, mm. I would probably say that if the helicopter was nudged, even if it was only slightly, that would probably put off his head. <laughs> Just like if you could make the helicopter just a little bit less stable. Because that's right, guns don't have that stabilization, as far as I know, and they might in twenty XX, but <laughs> no. Yes, if the. Mm-hmm. What was and finally, the debate here that I. Uh, well, oh, it's about right. like what they're going to do about the sniper, but uh, that's mm-hmm. that's a problem for eventually. Whistleblower, you see that the Ziggurat team uh, has entered the building and they are uh, currently. Uh, using the they send they send a couple of units up the elevator and then the other two like fan out to the two different stairwells on either side so they've split up into teams of two so i relay the camera feeds to everybody else tell them what's going on and i'll basically Mm -hmm. kind of send you arrows to indicate their progress that i can see So it's like kind of an hcd overlay of just like here's where like here's a little arrow above their heads Sick. Um, if, I can, yeah, I, can I mean, if, that, if you wanted to have them in real time, like real time arrows, you would have to hack into the into that team. 
Yeah, but like there's like this is right where now, they all are. You have, all, right now, all you have is a is a camera feed, so you'd have to. Yeah, and yeah. Whew, shit. But I don't know. I don't know how the roof's coming down, but I did. I did see the Ziggurat guys go up. Um, yes. But I, I tell the team and pass you the, the AR things. Oh, okay. Gosh. Are you gonna be? Are you gonna try and put arrows on them? Um, you'll have to log in. You'll have to log in to the Ziggurat and then drop. We'll the, see. And then hack okay. I'll tell. I'll, I'll tell the team. I'm. I'm not gonna risk. Um, yeah. I'm not gonna risk getting spotted just yet. Um, Big Zig would be uh, harder, but if you could actually get some info on the Syracuse team because the shotguns are concerning. Okay. Um, I don't I have mean, an intel. Mm -hmm. I yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. No, it's just like shotguns. Weird. Ozzy, uh, based on my time in Syracuse, would I just automatically know what the secure, security teams usually have? Mm -hmm. This security team is sent. Uh, so obviously it depends on the different kinds of security, right? In this case, this is a very obviously to capture a deadly target. This is the team. So that's why they've sent in in, uh, in heavy armor and mm -hmm. shotgun. Now that said, if they wanted to capture, because you know that they want to capture and not kill Angel, you would imagine that the shotguns would probably have gel rounds inside and probably yeah, like bean bags. Rifle. Yeah, it's like bean yeah. bags. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So they, they're they're separate capture, not kill. Um, so I basically mm. tell you, yeah, or in text, they're gonna have non-lethal equipment, but I would still not engage. Absolutely, and uh, yeah, she just like a, another nod, just like that's a relief. Angel, you hear them actually stomping down the stairs, uh, like from outside of the mm. hallway. They're like, bah, 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 and then like they yeah. just like fade. They fade. Loud ass boots. <laughs> and um, she sends uh, like a group a group text. Uh, big guys on roof just passed me. And Jose Cuevas is like, Ooh. just looks up for a second, shrugs. He just like finishes putting on his clothes, like <laughs> hiking up his pants oh, and like bust the door oh, open. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. Bust the door open and locks it. it um, so. So I'll know. If feel any better, I put a note on the side of my desk that I'm, my terminal I'm working on say, um, figure out a way to help get Cleo helping Jose. Jose, I, I yeah, he out. needs a contract. And, um, <laughs> yeah, Angel's just taking some reference shots of what he's got just to like uh for later. <laughs> yeah. Well, very personally invested. I respect that. You know yeah, what? We... For, for jumping into this man's apartment, I owe him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you now have the apartment to yourself and you can take up a a position. Okay. So um in the interest of making myself uh, doing my, uh, kind of mis remaining hidden, but able to, uh, pop a guy like a balloon. Uh, I'm going to post up near the window, but I'm still going to be able to, uh, see the door. Mm hmm So, uh, so, like, the window is, like, right here, and the door is in my plain view, so yeah. I can, like, post up behind the couch with the sniper rifle, uh, just in case they want to try something funny. Yeah. All right, cool. So, uh, yeah. What are you aiming? Are you aiming upward or downward or like who's who is of your I guess the only person that uh, you would be seeing right now would be the helicopter because the rest of the units yeah. are inside of the building. I am going to try my best to absolutely stay out of view of that fucking helicopter. OK. Mm. All right. So uh, I'm just kind of like uh, hugging the wall, waiting for a signal to watch. And um, I'm going to. Uh, send a message to both Sinon and Geppetto, like, if you see somebody you want you want put down, LMK, I'm <laughs> hiding. I, okay. Okay. LMK. Um, not normally what I request LMK. for you, but duly noted. Yeah, no, it, it uh, it, she, yeah, the, the phrasing is, it's very angel, but also, like, basically, it's like, if you want her to poke her head out, uh, let her know. Also, by the by, sign on. Um, I've been listening a little to the uh, other people in the the bar. Thank you for the people in chat who are um, 
uh, role playing those characters. Um, it seems that some of them have been a bit unnerved by having um, special operatives uh, next door and have started to escape through the back of the bar. Um, that may be a reasonable escape route for you because you'll be among other civilians. It does mean you're going to have to cross the road, but after that, you'll probably be home free. Okay. Um, I, good, you good to know. To Thank you. Holds for the building, right? You have to. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use one of them, just to know the ways up and down the building for both Sinon and, um, well, Sinon and both corporate troops. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, there are four staircases in the building. There's basically in all four corners of this U shape, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. These two on the top prongs, they are the ones that face the street and the bar, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? And there are outdoor stairs. So the ones in the back corners, those are indoor stairs. Mm -hmm. gotcha. So you'll be able to see anybody that's descending these uh, front facing to the street stairs. Mm -hmm. um, and then you have elevator, bing, bing. And then if anything, you can also uh, escape through the central courtyard, <laughs> like via zip lines. Now there's, no, now there's no, there's nobody in the courtyard right now, right? There are two people playing dominoes casually, I think yeah. ignoring the spec ops as they run past, according to chat. You yeah, know they're what? like... All right, so here's a little sip of their beer. It's dominoes. Do you mm -hmm. know how big that is in Miami? I'll tell Sinon, um, okay. I'll tell Sinon, ditch the disguise, make your way to one of the stairs. They're going to intercept each other soon. Got to be seen Not first. Enough. Yeah, got to be seen. All right, so um, the the forces. I'm you, anyway, I'm texting you. Get out. I'm texting you anyway. Yeah, okay, out. I, you don't get an answer then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Angel thinks to herself, "Crap! I should have given Dad a smoke grenade." <laughs> the uh, the forces are currently all converging, and. Uh, based on. Based on positioning, I would say that the Syracuse forces are the ones that would get there first, right? So, because mm -hmm. they were yes. 35th. Perfect. So, like, these people are going to be, like, on their ass. So, Syracuse uh, mm -hmm. approach it. Like, you hear, Sinon, the stomping as they're approaching the door. Okay. And then they and then it stops. And then the bam, the door crashes open. And uh, two, people with, two people with shotguns enter, scan the area. Uh, where are you? Cool. Well, uh, my plan was to be right next to the door, sort of, you know, uh, I'm going to ambush them and then. Uh, You're going to what? So OK, as, uh, so as soon as they bust down the door, there's two uh -huh. of them, right? Yes. As oh soon God. as they bust down the door, I'm going to tase one of them, push past the other one and and run to uh, there are three groups of ziggurat guys. I'm gonna run they're gonna. They're the, still. They're still gonna be coming up stuff. the stairs at some. Like yeah, they'll be in the hallway four, very shortly. But there are four stairs. <laughs> I want to go to yeah. the one that they aren't in. <laughs> right. Yeah. So. Yes. Yeah, so there's. I have to zip line too. So we're, that's happening. Yeah. There's the fronts. Well, remember the Ziggurat uh, whistleblower God. said that they would be up both of the back sets of stairs. So the oh, front okay. sets of stairs are the ones that they're not going up, but that would be visible to the street. Okay. That's what I'm saying, to take your disguise off and go down those stairs. No, no, this is much better. Okay. Uh, um, yeah, so as soon as they bust so the door, Right when she one. hears that right. bang, Angel is like, where do you want me? Give me the mix it up roll, please, sign on. And I'm going to give you a plus one forward because you're Sorry. ambushing. Oh my what, god. Uh, what, what, Come on, Sprawl Dad, you can do it! That's meat. Roll your meat plus one. Okay, mi mix it up. Gotcha. Mix that up. Mix it. Mix these guys' chips. Um, how many, how many rerolls do we have? Uh, two, oh, no. seven. That's an actually eight. no. That's an eight. Cool, oh, that's right. I believe Cool actually gave us another one, so I'm gonna go ahead and give. Cool. I believe we're at three. I am just gonna take that. that that's an eight, though. That's an eight. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. Eight. Yeah. All okay. right. So a mix it up on an eight. You achieve your objective. That's a seven plus. But you have to. Cho uh, you choose okay. two. Which of those two would you like to okay. choose? Oh shit! Oh, there we oh go. Oh my god. An ally takes harm is obviously mm -hmm. off the table. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, yes. Um, well, let's see. I will take. I will take harm. <gasps> oh, no. Um, okay. So let. So we'll. I'll describe that um, afterwards, and then. Um, what's. Well, okay. Uh, something of value. Yeah. Something of value. What do you have a value that breaks? Oh. Uh, let me see what I got here. There's a uh, number of things in the room. <laughs> You're oh, just, it has to be something of break. value. It has to be something of value. The only thing of value in this in this hideout would have been the Geppetto camera, um, the express chassis. Yeah, the express cha- or, express or, or cha- something sorry, that express I... chassis. Yeah, or, or something that you or have. Some, maybe something that. I... You're just... uh, would it, is a weapon valuable enough? I would say. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. What about um so, so your please, like yeah, your so taser ha- could break because of the armor? Mm-hmm. Like you had to jam yep. it through. That, could that is that's so that's what's happening. So these guys bust through the door. They they both come in, and the one guy looks left first, but I'm on I'm on his right. And the second guy comes in and starts looking right, and I just sort of get him with the taser like, right in the uh, right right, right in, in the neck. here, you know. Z- zap him! Zap him! Good. Um, Ooh, and uh, and at the same at the same time, uh, the other guy sees and he swings around, but he doesn't swing the barrel around. He swings the butt around, and he gets me right in the uh, in the rib cage, sort of cracks the rib on me there. All right. Uh, so then, that's going to. So he's using it as a club, is what you're suggesting. Uh, then the, it. I mean, it's not my. They're not my. Uh, characters control but that seems no no no, because it's the sprawl the way that it works is you decide how this all goes down Mm. so yeah so a club sounds good club all right club me (laughs) all right so a hand a club okay so two harm okay all right so you would be taking uh two harm to go ahead and advance your harm clock by two segments do you have armor because it would reduce the harm by that much. I, uh, ha- I do not have harm. Okay, so you take two harm, and then yes, you make the harm move. Okay, and that and is for one. harm, you want to roll low. Mm-hmm. So uh, the way that the harm move works is when you suffer harm, you uh, so there's like a, there should be a harm roll button right under your harm clock you uh, roll equal to the number of harm that you suffered. So you oh, roll there. plus two. Twice? No, you roll, you roll the, you oh, roll. Pl- plus two. And yeah, you have a plus two forward on this, but you want to roll low. Oh, That's a 12. That. Yeah, I would re-roll. I would re-roll. Yeah, let, let me. Yeah, let's not do that. I don't like that. Yeah. Well, meanwhile, the tech, the team oh, tech that's, is that's like, better. Get out, get out, that's better. That's uh, that's seven. seven. All right, so the harm move on a seven. Uh, bah, 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 bah. The MC yeah, will choose one. Sense. No, yeah. Uh, where do you see? Oh, there we go. Yeah, the MC chooses one. You lose your footing. You lose your grip on whatever you're holding. You lose track of someone or something. Or someone gets the drop on you. Oh dear. Uh oh. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so you've you've ambushed one guy. The other guy smacks you with their with the butt of the shotgun. Um, Fuck. And then it's gonna be someone gets the drop on you, right? So just after butting you with the shotgun, flips the the shotgun around on you. Okay. And says freeze. Okay. How out of commission is the other guy? Uh, how much? Uh, it was stun harm, right? There is S yeah. harm. Yeah. S harm. Yeah. Sarm. 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 Uh, a take some charm, bitch. <laughs> yeah. So charm is the way that charm works. I always get a little confused with charm. Um, <laughs> charm confuses me. Weapons, yeah, <laughs> weapons with charm do not alter the harm clock directly, but still force the victim to make the harm move. Sure. You, okay, so they have to roll harm. So it won't kill somebody, but they still get the whole like being knocked unconscious or losing cyberware. Correct. Golly, I hope he loses his cyberware, then I can loot it. <laughs> Eight. Eight. Uh, okay. So, 
I would say instead of well, yeah, he is going to. Is he rolled eight? I would say like we swap the roles here. Instead of the MC chooses one, you choose one. So which one of those choices would you like on okay. the guy that you stunned? Um, I would. Ooh. I would like for him to lose his grip on what he's holding. So he loses the grip on the shotgun? Oh, yeah. Take the shotgun, take the shotgun, take the shotgun. Uh, can Angel this see one? this going down? Yes, hmm. because there's there is a, well, there's a camera okay. in, Japan, in, uh, in yeah. Express. Okay, okay, okay. So, Sinon, you just get, like, all caps, take the fucking shotgun. Well, I don't think I don't think I get to make a move right now, right? Because this True. guy has the drop yeah. on me. He has a drop on okay. you, but it depends. Yeah. What do you, so what do you want to do? You're being told Ooh, to freeze. That's a good question. If I may, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. this might be a good time for the um, constructor gym subroutines in the express shell to kick in and make a noise and a movement. Oh my god. Hello! <laughs> what are we building today? <laughs> <laughs> that voice! Um, <laughs> and I think this, this might... Now, I don't know if this makes mechanical sense, but um, I do have those... Um, uh, the hold that I had from my disguise. For my infiltration. Yeah, uh, you can you can get out of dodge. Oh, oh, that's right. Yes. So, so I can Slip I can out. use I can use one to uh, di basically disable this guard. In, you know. Oh yes. So, All right. Just yeah! Spend it and just grab so, uh, the disable. So what happens is the, um, the you know the constructor Jim starts talking and he's distracted just for a second. So mm -hmm. uh, literally all I do is I grab the the. The, the barrel of the shotgun and just up into his Ooh. face. Oof. Oh, nice. Ow. He's going to have a busted and, nose. And uh, at, at which at which point I, I leave this apartment. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, the constructor there. Jim I, says, always wear a hard hat. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I do want to grab that guy's shotgun that he dropped. Oh actually. my god. That's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Always wear a hard hat. Fucking God. Oh, I love it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so glad that... That's um, I'm so glad that so this is happening. This is though... hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, nice. I love it. Good music. Yeah, I wanted mm -hmm. to up the music. Uh, all right, yeah. so you bash this guy in the face. He falls back unconscious. The other one is scrambling to get this shotgun, but you are, you're, you said you spent a second hold to escape? Yes. Okay, yeah, great. Yep. So where, which way are you going? In the hall or out? Um, I'm gonna go out to the, the one where I can be seen from outside. From the, from the courtyard? Oh, the front staircase, yes, so yeah. To the front staircase is where I'm heading. So you're going into the hallway. All right. So you- Yes, yes, into the hallway. So you uh, run into that hallway. Go ahead and give me an act under pressure to uh, evade okay. the you because you hear the incoming boots Ziggurat. of the ziggurat. Uh, the ziggurat forces. Oh my god! That's well, not the worst thing that could happen. Oh my god! <laughs> now let's see. What is this? Cool. Uh, yes. Okay, so these boots are approaching, and the door slams open. All right. That's a nine. Oh. oh That's a nine. nine. That is a nine. Stumble, name. hesitate, or flinch. The MC offers a worse outcome, hard bargain, ugly choice. So I'll say this cool. is a... F. So you were hoping to make it to that staircase in time. So the worst outcome is you didn't. And Ziggurat forces, like, as they enter, they hear the loud bang of you, like, enter, like opening that uh, that door the stairwell. Yeah. and you like scramble out you see the street beneath you 20 stories above and uh, you're out you're basically outdoors and all you can do is go down this staircase unless you want to hop out uh, but you hear the voices behind you over there target found target located and you hear the boots chasing after you but um, I think now is a good time for not a break, 
but for Geppetto to get a call from a certain somebody <laughs> before the break. Geppetto, mm -hmm. you get a call from Sharon King, who is going to give you the location of the uh, of the Jamaica location of yep. the Memory Gold Factory. And mm -hmm. uh, the looking over that file very quickly, mm. the first thing that sticks out to you is that this factory is on a floating island. One of the floating mm -hmm. islands off the coast of Jamaica. And your mm -hmm. eyes just kind of, upon seeing that, instinctually look up at the Syracuse helicopter. <laughs> and that's where we'll take our our break. So we'll be back in ten minutes. Stay tuned because we have a lot of ads that Palmer has described. You get to hang yeah. out mm -hmm. or that has made yeah. for us. Um, and also, before I go, I also want to uh, draw your attention to the Shadowcasters.network slash fundraiser where we are trying to keep the channel alive. So any uh, any donations that you would like to make, we're giving away lots of really cool, awesome stuff. So definitely check that out. That Shadowcasters.network slash fundraiser. Uh, by the way, that thing that I said I was going to do, the dance to I'm a slave for you, we hit that milestone. It is happening. Hey. So I'm, oh God. I will be choreographing it over the next two weeks. Oh my so, yeah. lord. Anyway, Oz. Right. Yeah, but we're giving away lots of really cool Shadowrun stuff, etc. Yeah. So definitely go check that out. Shadowcaster on Network slash fundraiser and see you in 10 for right. the conclusion of this hot mess. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Will I get to shoot somebody? I hope so. We're gonna die horribly, but that's fine. <laughs> no, see you in 10. don't be such a negative Nelly. Hey, Ziggy, can you take my trash out? Sure, and I ordered you more trash bags. Looks like you needed them. Your trash can is out of style. We have a new one you'd like for 22 cred. Thanks. Hmm, now I have to make dinner. Wait a second. Hey, Ziggy, make me dinner. I could tell you didn't want to cook today. A pizza is already on the way. I guessed you wanted pepperoni. Is that right? Wow, now I have time to unwind and watch my favorite shows. Hey, Ziggy, thanks. You're welcome. Your favorite show is playing now in the living room. I know what you like. The Ziggurat Ziggy from Ziggurat, starting at 299 credit. In a time where so many have to struggle, it's easy to get down. Then, it's best to get away. Get away to a place where everyone you meet has to be glad to see you. Don't waste your hard-earned money on those Dynamed spas or those safety net paintball retreats. Situated on the Northern Island, come visit Memory Gold's Arcology Park. 
In our personalized fun experience, our happy little AI-powered bots will always happily greet you by name. Ride our monorail to the front gate. Dine with princess bots in our authentic medieval castle. Experience the thrill of a car chase through a perfect replica of an oil rig slum. Or meet your favorite memory gold characters. It's the most joyful place in the arch sprawl. We make sure of it. Are you suffering from inconvenient conditions such as cancer, organ failure, obesity, sexually transmitted diseases? Well then exchange your body for a fresh start with Self 2.0. Truth. It's a treasure just as much as it is a commodity. A tragedy in our modern times, but one that didn't have to be. The moment Richard Syracuse learned he could bend truth to his design, invest it in himself to drive up a bigger profit margin, was the moment alternative facts became standardized. All with just a handful of rearranged words and a few lines of code. The self you've fallen over to improve your body, your mind, your sex appeal, those are the vehicles that smuggle fabrication and replace fact. And the worst part is that you will never know the difference. If it suited the Syracuse machine, humanity would only know a four-fingered hand instead of a five-fingered one. History would be considered built on the backs of capitalists instead of on the sacrifice of those who died to free us from oppression. Make no mistake, you are oppressed. Not by men in uniforms of a country, but in uniforms of a corporation, in a war for information, complete with suit, tie, and a self 2.0 smile. Just as real as the hand you hold in front of your eyes, the real truth is out there. You need only reach out and take it back from those who stole it from you. That is my mission. That is the truth. I am Whistleblower, and if you hide the truth from me, I will find you. Take back your freedom, Miami, and take back the truth.
for the best spaghetti you have ever seen? You need to eat the Samurai's Choice in sauce, packed with all the protein you need to power you through a long day, and seasoned with a blend of six Italian herbs and spices. It's Sayonara, the better carbonara. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to The Sprawl here on Shadowcasters Network, the cyberpunk powered by the apocalypse tabletop RPG. And shit is currently going down. So welcome back mm -hmm. to Miami. It's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So team, let's go ahead and put us back over here on this screen. So uh, to further establish the situation, OK? Here's the U of the building, OK? And these two mm -hmm. top spokes, they're facing the street. Sinon is going down this staircase over here, facing mm -hmm. the street, and he is being chased after by three ziggurat goons. Okay. okay. Three other ziggurat goons, you're going to see uh, a whistleblower. The camera that is on express has entered the apartment, and uh, they, they spot their target of express's old chassis, but there's a Syracuse guy with a shotgun who uh, they're going to engage into combat with. And yes. then... Yes! Nailed it! And then, um, Angel, you are positioned yes. on this other side, this opposite side okay. with the sniper so, rifle. So you can see the outdoor staircase from your I am window. Seeing, I am seeing the... Th I will probably be seeing the three boys chasing my sprawl dad. Correct. And there's okay. also a helicopter up top. The sniper Lunch. is also aiming on this side. Okay. So meaning you will not be able to actually target the sniper from this position, but you can target the ziggurat people that are chasing. Okay. Unless mm -hmm. you can somehow f force the sniper or the helicopter to, to look somewhere to, else. To, to look somewhere to else. To look somewhere else. Yeah. Okay. Have I have like, I have I best illustrated this? Any questions? Yeah. I no. Cool. Yeah. No. Uh. I, I, yeah. Okay. So, priority one. Mm -hmm. Shoot any boys chasing after sprawl that. Priority two. Take care of that fucking helicopter. I think that sounds wait, good. Wait, wait, I got an idea. Um, okay, I, may, I might have a bad idea, but... Um, okay, what's your bad idea? 
my, my bad idea is if I could somehow hack into the sniper gun and make it fire prematurely. Like, if he's, like, watching the window where, um... You could also we, potentially make the helicopter move. Maybe, but that'd be a bit too obvious. But I'm saying if he were aiming where Express is at right now, and where that firefight's happening, if I can get him to discharge his sniper rifle at it, maybe if the Ziggurat guys see that, they might engage the sniper. Yeah. Yeah, but it's a bad I idea. I mean, so well, long as, as they don't see As you're the other discussing the... this, though, um... A surprising mm -hmm. thing happens. The uh, the Syracuse sniper on the helicopter pops off one of the Ziggurat dudes. Hey, how that come works. he gets to have all the fun? You can hop in if you want to. But the uh, the I mean, the other two are gaining on the other two are gaining on Sinon, who is okay. currently dressed as Angel. But um, you realize at this point that uh, yeah, Syracuse is basically like one is engaged, one is down, and then they have their sniper. So the only person that is able to capture the is that's able to capture Angel is Sinon. I mean, sorry, is that sniper? And if there's people, mm. the unknown bogeys that are chasing after them, they need to take them out as well because they don't want to. Okay. Ooh. I would I would like to spend my last hold. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm fuck. Intel on the building. Okay. Okay. So. Now, Sinon's running down some stairs, and at any point he can go into any of the hallways where apartments are. Yes. Um, so, what I would like to do, or I hope I can ask this as a double question, are there any empty apartments on the way down that have a fire escape? Uh, not like an op the fire escape, that might be an option for Sinon. Hmm. The fire, there wouldn't be fire escapes if there's these four staircases already. Oh, I mean, like if, um, he were to, if he decided to go into the hall where like the rows of uh, rooms are. Yeah. Um, and if one he of those rooms has like a fire escape. The only the remember that the windows face the interior courtyard, so he can hop in and mm -hmm. and uh, zip line across to a different apartment. OK, give me an empty apartment <laughs> with one of those zip lines accessible. OK, yeah, uh, you you find another one that's part of that racket of uh, keeping apartment built, uh, keeping certain apartments empty to jack up the prices by supply and demands for rent. And uh, you ping it for sin on. Yep. I, tell, I tell you, you can duck in here, but you need to lose your disguise before you go out in public again. This one's on the 16th floor. OK. That's, okay. Nice, you know, that's the best I can do for you right now. So Sinon, right, so uh, one of the people the that is that is literally about to capture you, like almost like uh, is uh, basically just aiming uh, their I, their SMGs and was just about to send a stream of bullets your way gets popped. That's the the sniper. That's the one I just described. The, the sniper mm -hmm. gets popped okay. and knocked down. You don't you don't hear a spray of blood or anything. Um, but you just know, you just, like you yeah, you see this guy just tumble down a set of stairs. Okay. So they're using non-lethal. So a Angel can see this too, right? Mm -hmm. Clearly. Yes. So Angel just mentally notes, okay, they're using non-lethal. And she tells this to Sinon. It's like, uh, Syracuse has non-lethal. And uh, she's going to take aim at the other guy chasing Sprawl Dad with... Uh, I, 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 I'm texting um, Angel and saying, hold fire unless Sinon tells you to. She grumbles, uh, but he, otherwise. Already, uh, yeah, so the first thing, as soon as he hit the stairs and there's these guys that are right behind him, right? So, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. He's, he's going to say, hey, uh, slow them down. Kid. Uh, so Angel's like, you got it, one busted fucking kneecap. <laughs> 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 and she is wow. going to take aim at goon number two, chasing her father. Okay. You're gonna All so right. mix it up. And we are going to broadcast hotline first. So hotline does four harm. And uh, it's not loud, it's silenced. And yep. it's high powered, so it does yeah, it does four. So I would need to roll meat or You're doing the mix it up move, so yes, meat. Yes. Okay. Unless you're using so... uh, anything that No, you're not. Right. Force Cyber you to roll a different skill. Yeah. Well I mean yeah, mm -hmm. no, I mean, my cyber eyes are used to aim, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, your cyber eyes are used to aim, so what do they do? Oh! Um, broadcast my cyber eyes? Broadcast okay, the cyber yeah, eyes, let's... maybe they have a bonus. Broadcast, broadcast, okay. 
So my 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 lovely cyber eyes serve as my scope. Hotline does not have a scope. Hotline is iron sights. So I simply use these cool little eyes eye images uh -huh. I've got. Oh, I see. Uh, so this is to help roll for sin for I mean, yeah. roll for assess. Gotcha. Okay. Yes. So then no, this doesn't help. But go ahead and okay. go ahead and do the cool. mix it up move. Okay. Um, uh, do I have any forward? I would say no. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Hope this is good. Here we go. Oh, I. Mm, That's how many four. rerolls we got on? You have yeah. two. How many? Okay, I, I'm gonna re-roll this. Fuck. I'm. I'm supposed to be a sniper, really. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. God, for the rerolls. <laughs> yeah. No. Absolutely. <laughs> four plus five. That's ten. There we go. Nailed it. And she says. So she. Uh, so she says to Sinon. <gasps> One balloon pop coming right up. And you just pop. hear kind of a. Pew. You just hear nice. kind of like a like a, a pew, and that's all you hear. And like you have to be within five feet to hear this 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 silencer yeah. muzzle break thing is about the size of your head. But uh, hotline yeah. hotline is a big girl, and this that is enough to take down this uh, this ziggurat goon who bursts into into just just I mean just describe that blood. <laughs> okay, so Angel was aiming for let's see. What uh, she always goes for the head most times, but this is a side view. So I want you to imagine. Okay, you know how in Sniper Elite, like uh, it, it gives a play by play of the bullet. Uh -huh. So we're gonna. So it's gonna go pew, and then right when it gets to his head, bullet time. So, <laughs> and then it's going to hit him right about. Let's say like here, <laughs> and he's going to go this way. And it's just a mess. Yeah, and his body just like tumbles over the side of the building. Yeah, and, and um, you you hear Angel say, "Sorry." You just hear you uh, you know you get a text from uh, Angel that just says, "Sorry," and it's got like this little like, a sh like a uh, embarrassed blush face attached to it. <laughs> slight slight eye twitch, but um, at that I think. A uh, cinematically at that point is when I get to the 16th floor. <laughs> yes, cinematically, that is when you get there. Also, cinematically, that's when uh, the Ziggurat <laughs> people are over are able to overpower the Syracuse guy. So I would say oh. uh, one shotgun blast oh. versus three SMGs. I would say uh, one. Oh my God. The, the Syracuse guy with the shotgun goes down, but so does... Um, so do... I would say one is injured and then the other went down and then there's uh, a third that was okay. just fine. Okay. All right. So All while recording. that is so this like firefight is happening in this in this uh, and finally Ziggurat uh, approaches you see like whistleblower you see in your in your uh, camera that's on Express's chassis that target secure and they uh, go ahead and just like hoist it up. <laughs> And uh, this guy, the one guy that's perfectly fine, hoists up this chassis while the other mm -hmm. one is just like limping behind. And like, ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, that hurts. Um, not bleeding. Remember, though. efficiency is happiness. <laughs> they have the bot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and I think this is probably. Oh, okay. sorry. And last but not least, Geppetto. Yes. Yeah, so you you just got that message, and you're mm -hmm. and now thinking ahead. How do you get to a floating island? Mm -hmm. Would you even have the resources to get onto that floating island? And you just yeah. look up at that helicopter. Yeah. Uh, so uh, and at this point, you're the bar not. is probably mostly empty. Uh, so uh, Geppetto is relatively easy to kind of squeeze themselves into a booth out of line of sight in the street. And is like, ah, um, I did get the information on uh, where we need to go for our actual mission rather than this uh, uh, distraction. Um, the nice, island yes. is literally floating, like in the air. Um, oh, fuck me. Yeah, yes, it's not great. Um, away. Sidon uh, currently suppose... is scrambling down the hallway while he's getting this information and like busts uh -huh. open the door to the apartment. And <laughs> Angel is very casually phrased while he's streaming along. <laughs> uh, Angel's giving herself <laughs> mental head pats for exploding that guy's head everywhere. Just oof, that was beautiful. I'm not done. His heart's just pounding. 
Um, yes, yes, we're all very terrified. Um, are we going to steal this helicopter or no? Angel no, just kind of no, 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 no. lights up. I'm She's like, there. I'd be down. <laughs> I'm saying no. I have a way. I have a way to get to the island. Just get seen on out of there. Shut the fuck up. All right. <laughs> 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 All right. So, no, so you uh, you bust open into the 16th floor, and you see the the window that yep. you have to like unlatch, and, like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh open God, the window. So All right, go ahead. And, go ahead and act under pressure to to uh, open that yeah. window in time before Come the cigarette on, guy. Sprawl, Dad. Cool. Come on. Dad. 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 Oh, Ooh, hold on. Um, also, I Geppetto. have one more. Mm -hmm. You have one. Oh, yeah, that's right. You still have one more covert two, entry I, hold. Uh, I, I want to spend it now. This up. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, right now. Okay. Woo! All right. So, one thing real quick before we describe that, Geppetto, I just wanted to remind you because I know that one of the things you were saying while we were on break was like, "How do I help?" Uh, mm -hmm. I would totally allow you to use uh, any members of the gun plot if you'd like to assist yes. in some way. Um, I was. I was. Gonna, you would definitely gonna... have one or two on standby. Mm -hmm. If I could uh, like find the room for a suggestion. So this being a future helicopter, is the future helicopter piloted by a person or an AI? Uh, this one is piloted by a person for sure. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> Fudge. I was gonna talk to it politely and see if it wanted to help. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> oh. Fucking mess with it. Yeah. No, it's all good. It's all good. Um, right. Okay. So we do have a courier bot on hand because they delivered the chassis to the building. Um, the courier bot is called. Hmm. Um. Oh, it's called Fast Track. There we go. Perfect. Um. They're all, they all have names related to their jobs. It's precious. Uh, let's see, what can I use Fast Track to do in this circumstance? Um, hmm. While you're figuring oh. that out. Yes, okay. I want to, Actually, I want to no, cinematically. Sorry, I, 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 do, I do have a suggestion. So there are, the, the helicopter has grapple wires that have come down. Yes. And they're still dangling? Yes. Nice. Um, I am going to say that uh, um, Fast Track is in another one of these abandoned uh, rooms in the building. You can stop cringing. You've got to do things, mix it up and see what happens. That's like the point uh -huh. of the game. <laughs> um, so uh, Fast Track fires a grapnel across to uh, to the window that sign on Zat. That bisects the grapple wires underneath the helicopter so Sinon can go and grab the wire to the helicopter. So if the if the helicopter is sitting in the middle of the of oh, the, yeah, of yeah. the is in the middle of the arena and there's lots gotcha. of uh, uh, I want to keep calling them fishing wires, like dry lines, lines that are crisscrossing yeah. the space. Then this is one that's bisecting the courtyard that goes by the dangling uh -huh wires from the helicopter so Sinon gets to be the badass action hero that they've always dreamed of being. Excellent. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. Sinon, so Sinon you're yeah. like scrambling to open this window and you just see uh, one of Geppetto's uh, gunpla bots like in another apartment across the way fire this line that embeds itself Special in the delivery. wall and you see, and just, and you see, yeah. and you see the dangling line <laughs> from the helicopter that idea. you could get to it. It's a garbage idea. Don't do so it. Don't you have a choice. You have a choice. It's you can either oh. climb onto that line and get on the helicopter, or you can just swing across to the other side. Um, is there a, is there another um, guy chasing Sinon yet? Yes, there. Yes. We... So that's what the uh, the oh. act under pressure roll is going to be. So go ahead and give me that Sinon. Okay. Now ready. Oh, also, mm -hmm. Sinon already knows what I'm still spamming in his text box. <laughs> I could I like as all of this is happening, I just see like Mycin doing this, like, oh my god. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna re-roll that one. I should have never run with these fools. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna re-roll that one. Is that right. re -roll. Oh. Yeah, yeah we have one re-roll remaining. Oh god. See, this this Oh no! Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Alright, what happened? So what? on a four. 
You do not do it. You don't even get the ugly. Yeah, you are. You are not able to open that window in time before this uh, this ziggurat force enters and starts spraying bullets with their SMG gel rounds, and you uh, and you feel pa 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 like all of these hard Ow. gel rounds hit your body, and you take. Uh, uh. So this is this is stun harm, but you do have to roll harm. Uh, it's two harm, so add a, it's two forward to that harm roll. Harm move. Okay, I won't I won't bug you until that's done. But I'm going to get this guy with the submachine gun. Hell! Oh, oh, a twelve. That's bad. You do you want to re-roll that? <laughs> I don't think we have any re-rolls left. Do we? You have one. have one left. We do. You have one left. Okay. Uh, oh, then, yes, a thousand. Oh my god. 12 is bad. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're out of rerolls. Where was that? Guys, we're out of rerolls. Hey guys, 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 we could use some more rerolls. This is how this game works. Ooh, That's a 12 again. Bad. That's a 12 again. Okay. You All right. Heck? On a 10 plus, choose one. You're out of action, unconscious, trapped, incoherent, or panicked. You take the full harm before it was reduced by armor. Um, which there isn't any, so I would, because it's stun. Uh, mm -hmm. You lose the use of a piece of cyberware until you can get a repair. You lose a body part. It's gel, so... <laughs> yeah, um, I'm going to say that my cyberware is damaged. My skill wires are damaged by this. Okay. Oh, no, yeah. you know what? No, 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 no. I don't want that. Um, <laughs> what other options are there? You're out of action. Uh, you can be... uh, or oh, you I... lose the use of a piece of a cyberware, or you lose a body part. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Shit. Uh, well, I don't want to lose a body part right now. Um, get so, yourself in a state where you're away from that window. Angel's going to do another shoot. Okay, yeah, no, we'll go with the cyborg. That's fine. Yep. All right, so Does you lost the use of your skill wires. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does Angel have the shot? Use them, too. Angel's always got the shot, the fuck? Nah. Uh, it's a little hard, right? Because you're, a... you're on the 35th, mm. you're on the 35th floor. Yeah. And he's on the 16th. And this guy busted through the door, so and he's firing from the apartment door, which is on the other side. So you don't really have him in your sign of sight. All that you're seeing from your scope is Sinon basically get like, bam, like bullets, and like he gets put like he basically just okay. like jolts up against the um, up against that window mm -hmm. as Dang bullets it. are coming at him, and like bullets are even smashing the window open. Um, okay. okay, so I know that's where the action is. However, I do not want to draw the ire of that snipe. Yes. Uh, in the meantime, um, Whistleblower, I know that you've uh, previously resisted hacking the um, the helicopter to make it move. Um, can you make the grapple wires retract? I, yeah, I don't think you actually hacked the helicopter. Something. Okay, never mind. But he okay, can so hack the helicopter. Yeah. What about the, the ziggurat gun? Because if I go out to the helicopter, I really don't want to hack any Syracuse stuff because that could backfire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, at the at the very least, if we're not... Oh, gosh. I don't know. Right, sorry, I had a bit of an internet hiccup. Um, if, we're, if we're not going to go for the helicopter any further, um, I it seems that everybody has piled out and the van is still outside the building, which I can entirely and quite easily steal. Um, but that would require, obviously, everybody <laughs> to escape via the ground floor. It might be slightly easier if we escape, if you all escape via the roof. Um, if the grapple from the helicopter can retract, I can at least grab onto that and be pulled my way up. Don't worry, I'll be able to handle myself once I'm up there. Geppetto, while you're discussing this plan, while you're discussing the plan, you see, um, you're, because you're still at the bar, really, right? Watching yeah. the whole thing unfold. And uh, you see that the sniper on the helicopter has aimed, now that they've seen all this commotion coming from that from that window, uh, is mm -hmm. aiming at Sinon. Uh, the um, the uh, sniper has also that. changed target. So uh, you're not the only one aiming Fuck. for that window, Angel. <sighs> I'm going um, to gain the Syracuse sniper rifle. Go for it. <sighs> Thank you. While he's... Ch I, You're going to need to log way. in first, though. So yeah. you might not actually... Ha I would say you have a login move, then something needs to happen uh, before you're able... Like, so basically... 
the sniper's gonna be able to probably still get a shot because the login is not gonna, unless, we'll see. We'll see how your login move goes, but go ahead and give me that uh, roll synth. Do I have any I remember also, uh, no, no. But remember to also roll that, cow that uh, console cowboy. We didn't do that last time after you're done logging in. All right. Hey, Colt just got us another reroll. Thank you. Cool. Hey. Thank you. Woo. Cool. Woo, cool. Lucky, lucky, lucky. All right, here we go. <laughs> that is a 12. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, you're in, you're in clean. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a 10. Okay. Yeah, you're in clean. Yeah. So right. now go ahead and roll console cowboy to see how much hold you get. Roll mine. Yeah. Ye heckin' hob. Probably no forward. Fuck it up, but I got 12. Yes. yes. You gain three holds, which you can use to uh, prevent a construct from triggering an alert, avoid an ice routine, or increase your hold over compromised security or manipulated systems by one. So. Ooh. Now that said, while you're like trying to scramble to log into uh, into Ziggurat. Uh, what do there's a, a shot That's will just, be fired unless somebody just else clarify, acts. I, mm -hmm. Just just to clarify, I hacked into the Syracuse's sniper rifle. I felt that was. I'm sorry. Yes. Time. Sorry. Yes. Yeah, sorry. I got them confused. Uh, Syracuse, you've logged into the Syracuse system and mm -hmm. you are you see the sniper rifle that you can that you can target. But first. Sinon, you're seeing from your point of view the sniper rifle, uh, like the helicopter has like descended a few floors and like s clothing lines are snapping everywhere and they are, you see yep. that this sniper is trying to get a good position and you see it, just the barrel of the gun is aiming right at you. What do you want to do? Yeah, and and I'm also facing a ziggurat guy who just SMG'd me with gel rounds. Correct. Uh, so oh, I slammed up, um, up against the window. Uh, and then I fall down. I, pre I pre pretend I'm unconscious. Okay. You're pretending you're unconscious. Yep. Is that a move of some kind? I mean, you can do it, but I just want to uh, know if there's a, if there's a move that you can tie that to for know. funsies. I mean, we can we can make it just like, and, hey, you know. Dad, why are you playing possum? <laughs> do you want uh, me to take care of which boy? Do you want me to take care of? Because it might clear the way for the shot at the cigarette guy. Mm, yeah, true. And then I can take care of Sniper Joe up there. <laughs> if there's no move, no worries. I just wanted to see if you had a, I can't a find special one. move. No. That's okay. So then, um, so you you knock yourself to the side, and this uh, the the lone cigarette guy is uh, you know has his SMG gel rounds pointed at you um, and approaches and just, he says uh, we've got one and uh, basically like <laughs> turns your body over and he's going to uh, he's going to try and cuff you but as he's going to cuff you the Syracuse sniper takes a shot and pa like just fires through the window and that ziggurat guy goes down Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have one <laughs> last zig guy. The only boy with a gun still. So then I open my eye, open one eye, and uh, send a message. Okay, well, <laughs> that's one thing care. down. And uh, I, te I text the team, I say, I have control of the sniper rifle in case we need to jam it. You actually don't have control be of the sniper time. rifle. Or, you well, have to do another, you have to do the, uh, you have to do the, uh, Cops uh, the hacking roll. No, the, one gotcha. of the hacking. I believe okay. it was manipulates so, yeah. yep. compromise security or manipulate system systems. One of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Manipulate systems. I keep forgetting which one is which. There you go. A digitally controlled aspect of a facility. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Uh, what is? Con Let me see compromise security real quick. I shall pop it. Compromise security. Flame out. A subsystems security. I would say it's that. Compromise security? Yeah. Yeah, this okay, is a subsystem. This is the Syracuse security, like, sniper rifle. It seems like that would make sense. Okay. Sure. Can I go ahead and do that now just to get it go out for of the way? Yes. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I knew which one you were going to do. Yeah. That's mine. 
Any forward? Uh, nope. Not unless console yeah. cowboy gives you anything. You have a bunch of holds, but no Eleven. Forward. Hey, you got ten. Eleven. Yeet. Nice. You have three hold oh, over. Hold. You have three hold over that sniper rifle. Okay. Uh, now I feel Angel, like you guys control the sniper rifle. <laughs> Angel is going to say, "Jam it up." I'm going to do a thing. And I said, um, "I'm texting you back. Just get out of the building." Hmm. I feel like he's still going to be a problem. I think he needs to go. <laughs> oh and I'm God. going to I'm telling you no, invoke my director. I'm telling you he needs to go. Oh okay. I'm going to invoke my Real quick, little though. directive. Ooh. Okay. What's your directive? My di directive is called, uh, I'm, I'm going to butcher this, proselytizing, I believe. Proselytizing. Go ahead and broadcast that. Proselyti okay. Describe your belief system when you persuade others to act according to your beliefs and mark experience. There are certain people who need to die. Let's just take care of that right now. Okay, so what is it that you're trying to convince? Who I'm are you trying saying, to convince what you're using? I am, I am saying to Whistleblower that this sniper is going to be a problem. He needs to go. He needs to get a, a bullet right here. I mean, well, I'm like, we've... Not only have we done enough damage and we've killed two people today, but we don't need any more ballistics evidence than we've already left. But um, do I have to roll resist anything? <laughs> yeah, I think this is a move, right? Well, yeah, you can. Um, uh, so who's trying to convince who? Because currently, uh, Whistleblower, you're not in the position to stop Angel, so it's kind of the burdens on you to convince her not to do it. Yeah. Uh, fair enough. Um, so I'm telling you, Look, we've we've done enough damage. We need to get Sinon out of there, and we've left enough ballistics for Ziggurat to find. We don't we don't need. Oh, if it's just Ziggurat, that will, I mean. that will increase the heat of Syracuse if you try to kill more other men. Mm. I I think you need to roll for it, baby. Me yeah. or? Okay. Well, yeah, I'm... you know what? Um, yeah. Oh fuck. You contested what? roll? Yeah, you can do <laughs> you can do one of the um. Uh, what's it called? The fast? No. Uh, fast play hardball. Play hardball or fast oh. talk. Either or. Whichever one I'm you gonna feel do is. Fast. I'm fast gonna talk? do fast talk. Ooh, shit. I'm We're just arguing I'm quickly. I'm Quick arguing. Do I'm doing fast talk because mm. yeah. I can roll synth instead of style. Shit. Need to get that. Um, I'm just doing uh, fast also, talk. Also, uh, Angel, you, um, yes. these rolls aren't contested. You just choose whether you. Nah. You fail. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Angel is like, uh-uh, no, he's just going to be a problem. I thought you didn't want to put Sinon in any danger, and you just, you hear a little audio this clip of put her. him in danger, but I've already lost, so. It's, it's too late, and you, just, you shot. Yeah, you're just screaming it, like, ah, uh, no, it's not going to put him in danger, and Angel's just like. <laughs> and you just hear an audio clip of, you hear the bolt closing on Hotline. Mm. Oh my Meanwhile, god. My my jaw is just dropped in front of the children. <laughs> I'm like, what have you done? This is for trying to string me up, motherfucker. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm, gonna, guess. I'm going to mix it up and uh, shoot and uh, engage in a sniper duel. Uh, one thing, the increase, uh, the uh, prevent a cons. Sorry, uh, what is it? Avoid routine. I would say you can. Sp <sighs> Shit, I don't know how this. <laughs> you can spend a hold okay. whistleblower to. I would say to stop the to shut off the sniper rifle. Uh, like Ali's sniper rifle or Angel sniper rifle? No, no, no. Um, That's not linked to anything. No. Syracuse, Syracuse's sniper rifle. You, you stay away from Hotline. Like you yeah, still you have the opportunity to do, to do that it. before anything else. Can I try and hack Hardline? No. No, do not even right? do not touch my baby. <laughs> Can I try? Unless you want unless you want to be on the other end of her barrel. Okay. And you mm. might want to try. I think okay, just to, while while this bickering is going on. Um <laughs> All, all of the uh, people who were in the van have now exited and now in the building and or shot or incapacitated. So there's, there's nobody probably like one person outside in the anymore. van. There's probably one person yeah. in the van holding it. Yeah, one boy in the van. Mm. Thanks for that sub, Coop. Hmm. 
Yeah, uh, thank you, Coop. I think this is this is this is something that I guess is probably going to have to happen. And also, you know, I also want to continue to make things up, mix things up, even if it makes things worse. Um, so, uh, <laughs> Geppetto, <laughs> while dressed, still in kind of like dad mode, um, kind of goes over to the van and uh, is kind of like politely taps on the window. Um, ex excuse me, and is there anybody inside? Yeah, one person who uh, you just see via the tinted windows, just barely. You see like this, uh, like just a solid face mask mm -hmm. uh, that just turns to you slowly and does not open the window. Oh, they don't open the window? No. <laughs> Why would they? <laughs> yeah, no, that's true. Hmm. Hmm. But they can still hear you. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. I, uh, I'm, I'm, I, I guess, uh, I guess in this case, it's like, is, is, is something, is something going on? I was in the bar across the way, and um, a bunch of people drove up, and it was very, very concerning. And I'm, I'm, just, I'm just concerned that somebody's going to be hurt. Stand back from the van. <sighs> Rude. Yeah, no, there is a pu pushing this doesn't actually gain me any any kind of advantage if you're staying inside the van. Um, mm. Geppetto is like, oh, I, I see. Um, sorry, sorry to bother you. Um, have have a nice day, I suppose. And uh, walks away and um, walks down the streets away and we've i think we've established that the that this is a kind of like a, this mm -hmm. is the shape of the building and yes. this finger is where the staircase where uh is the side that Sinon's on uh Geppetto wanders round that side of things outside the building but kind of out of line of sight of the main street where the van might be mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and okay. i am going to wait there for the time being you're free to use, you still have uh, access to, I would say, you, you, I said you had maybe like a couple of your bots on standby. Yeah, so yeah. If you have I'm wondering if there's a, wanna... another one that I can use to. Actually, sure, sure. Let's retcon that then. Um, <clears throat> the, uh, yeah, okay. So at the at the same time, we've, we've I, I'm gonna have to remember to write down the name of all these Gumpler because there is a limit of 10. Um, so I have false track. <laughs> Express and and express. Um, so there is a uh, a, a robot that was a, a robot that we liberated from construction, and they have a uh, a delightful pile bunker arm. Um, so while uh, while Geppetto is kind of like tapping on the window to get the the guy's attention. Um, around the other side of the van, uh, this other member of the Gunpla, uh, who I think is just called Pile Bunker, and they are a, a robot oh. of very few words and uh, big oh. on action, uh, just kind of like rear them. back one fist and shatter oh, the glass of the other side of the van with incredible force. <laughs> no <Yes>! shit! <laughs> Pile Bunker! While you're on the other side, right? Uh-huh. Okay. So while the, while the driver is like looking at me around okay. the other side of the van, Paul Bunker just caves in the window and possibly his skull. I don't know. <laughs> uh, you know what? Angel let's have. Goes, oh my fucking god. Let's have. Uh, let's have them mix it up. So just give me mm -hmm. a regular roll. Uh, since I feel like this is a the kind of individual that would be a plus two on synth for mm -hmm. attacky stuff. So go ahead and give plus two forward to that roll. Cool. Um, I don't know if I have a generic one, so I'm just going to roll synth with a plus one forward so that will mathematically be the same. Sure. I have one in synth. Sounds good. Pretty good. <laughs> Great. Yeah, so uh, he accomplishes it. Boof. Uh, describe how... Uh, describe how pile bunker takes out uh, yeah. the ziggurat so driver. The, 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 the guy driving the car is like, step away from the... <laughs> as the <laughs> truck Just bunker rams you. in a perfect circle through the window and through into the back of his skull. Oh! Uh, Ow! That hurt! Nice. Yeah, and when it, like, rips out, like, the body just, like, flumps over into the passenger side seat. 
I'm driving now, bitch. Uh, yeah, and Geppetto uh, goes around the other side of the van, uh, gives um, uh, Paul Bunker a high five, and Paul Bunker gets into the back of the van. Uh, Geppetto's driving. Nice. <laughs> what do you do with the body? Oh, they're still riding shotgun, I guess. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. So you got. You got your think this would vehicle. be something that would unnerve Geppetto? It doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Pile Bunker. I love you. Nice. Oh my God, Pile Bunker, you're wonderful. Um, and Geppetto gives everybody a voice call. It's like, um, so uh, if the um, helicopter circumstance is out, um, I do have an Uber prepared. <laughs> And, and meanwhile, I, I might have seen this on the camera, and I just like stared, slacked off. Angel, you just from Angel, you just hear a chef's kiss. Just beautiful. Um, right, sign on. Uh, it's with with a number of the uh, various uh, washing lines snapped. You could probably ride one of those down to the ground floor. Yeah, the sniper this, rifle. The sniper rifle this. has been disabled. Correct. Okay, mm -hmm. did somebody have, tell me that? <laughs> I this is on this is on voice chat. I have told you that that my oh. side of Yes, but then whistleblower, you okay. have you disabled the sniper rifle or no? I have access to I have not disabled it yet because okay. we haven't resolved the engagement yet. I would say you're free to disable it. You have you already have the hold yeah. to just go ahead and wreak havoc on that sniper rifle. You know what? I'm going to say I was too distracted from watching another man die in that van to remember to jam that sniper rifle. And I am very upset with Angel right now. Okay. You're free to be a basic bitch if you want. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, that was right, beautiful. So, so as of right now, okay, so, okay, Syracuse is in the sniper rifle still. So, okay, so I still have to be Angel for now until this person. Yeah. Yes, yeah, you still okay. have the Syracuse um, sniper so... and, uh, and its pilot. And mm -hmm. uh, Angel hasn't the, taken the shot yet, has she? No, I haven't taken the shot. That, that's and what I was to. But the uh, yeah, but remember the helicopter is still aiming on the other side of the building from Angel, so she doesn't have a okay. shot. The only way for her to get a shot not. is for Sinon to go across. Is for somebody to basically that's, what, that's what's happening. Distract okay, the okay. That's what's happening. The, the helicopter. Okay. I the sniper was aiming at Angel. So in that case, yes. It's aiming at Sinon. If it's aiming at Sinon, if it's aiming at Sinon, yes, yeah, so I will jam. Oh, you weren't going to jam it if it was okay. I see how it is. Okay. Not that Angel knew. <laughs> oh, but he Alice finds out you are dead, head. motherfucker. You don't know what's going on in my head. I'm trying to protect Xenon. <laughs> okay, so you're spending a oh, hold. Same. I just we just have different methods. Sniper rifles, sniper rifles off, and you still mm -hmm. have yep. two more if you want to use that sniper rifle mm -hmm. for whatever reason. And you have another three, I think, to like hack into. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Avoid Do security stuff? alerts. Yeah. Uh, that additional cow so cowboys to avoid security breach. Alright, so this is if like um increase my holdover compromise security or manipulate the systems. I don't need to do that. Um yeah, you're good. I don't even know what else. Basically, like else you have you choice. have total control over Syracuse. You could just be like you have five opportunities to be like bam, 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 fuck them up. <laughs> so what we need to do is get fuck them up, Syracuse. bitch. Yes. We need, to <laughs> we, re we need to remove that helicopter from the situation entirely. So, as much as I hate to do this, I've already committed the act of jamming the gun. So at that point, I'm going to tell the helicopter. Is it two propellers or anything? I think it's, it's a, a single rotor. Yeah, single rotor. Single rotor. Yeah, just a, a, a whirly bird. <laughs> it's a whirly bird. All right, so a millennial falcon. To... I will use one of those holds, essentially get it to pitch um, and just kind of fly off in one direction. Nice. I don't want it to crash. Bye. I, I just needed to pitch okay. just a little bit. Oh, okay. All right. So you have it. I mean, you have okay. a pitch. And what's the what's your what's your goal with that? I'm trying to just make it start flying away from the scene just indefinitely. OK, For now. Got it. All right. So this. So sit on. Oh, OK, I see. Yeah. So sit on. You to see like this helicopter. You has sailed is starting to sail off out of the courtyard and like pitched so, like it's very obviously something has happened okay i'm i'm at you know still got injured ribs and i got shot with gel rounds so it's like 
and my it, like skill wires are shorted out. So I'm just oh, like, oh fuck. Okay, so if that's so flying I, I away, like, I like elbow crawl out of back out of the apartment that I went into and just start going back down the the regular stairs. Okay, so okay. if everybody's cleared out, Angel is gonna start to make her way to uh, help Dad into the van. All right. Yeah. Um. Well, <laughs> before you do, uh, you uh, all. Okay. So now you um. As you. Uh, as you uh, descend and you all make your way to the first floor, um, mm -hmm. you come across oh, the no. remaining two Ziggurat guys who are holding the chassis of Express. Mm hmm. And. Uh, oh, yes, that's right. They're going to they're going to leave in the van in it. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Get, yeah him Get him in the yeah. van. Get him in the van. There, yeah, Geppetto, you see them like cross and mm -hmm. whistleblower. You'd see this on camera too. You see two ziggurat people holding the expressive chassis, and you can even see through the chassis uh, camera as well mm -hmm. uh, that they're like crossing the courtyard uh, mm. to make their way to the van. And they see that yeah. it's that the window, fa the window has been smashed, and so mm -hmm. they, um, they, uh, I they fucked up my their... own plan. I forgot that. Gosh. <laughs> I'm they dumb. level. Oh, well. No, it's not dumb. It's, it's, it's a fun it's extra no, complication. No, no, just hold on. Let yeah. them in the van, and then uh, we'll just. I mean, yeah. I, I suppose if they try to get in, like they open the back of the van, they're probably going to get pearl bunkered. But um... the healthy one, the healthy one, uh, the healthy one, the one that has not been mm -hmm. shot yet, uh, is the one that's going to approach the van with their uh, with their SMG. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you see, uh, you see someone. Luckily, like the the windows are tinted, right? So you're still like hiding in mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess if you're in the if you're in the driver's um, seat, I, they might see you through the shattered window. Yeah, I I, I think yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna drive off. <laughs> <laughs> you're just gonna yeah. fuck off without us. Cool. No, 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 no. Just for uh, now. I I go and give um the rest of the the or at least I give sign on and angel. Uh, a different location that I will mm. be driving to uh, in okay. a kind of like meet me here kind of thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Hey, I got an idea. I got an idea. Um, I uh -huh. have holds. And Sorry. Oh, you still do have a lot of holds. I do have a whole lot of yeah. holds. I should use them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Do something. Um, you have those holds on Syracuse, there... though. Well, well you still got control of the well, sniper I... rifle and the helicopter, I guess. But, uh, the whole think, helicopter. Um, since I have the Syracuse system on hold, it generally. Um, would there happen to be a Syracuse employee's car nearby? Oh, a car. Mm, a car. Even if there was, the the point of your current holds. Oh, I guess you have hold over the Syracuse. We have, so you, <laughs> but you have you have the you logged in to Syracuse, so yeah, you have you have a hold over the Syracuse in general. So yeah, mm -hmm. you can you can find a Syracuse employee for sure. Um, I will find a nearby parked unused car, um, and I I'll basically control it remotely. <clears throat> I'll tell the team I'm gonna borrow us a car. Just make sure you don't we don't break it, and mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell yeah, it to drive yeah. behind the building and set like a nap point for you guys to go there cool uh then we can we can do a, a, an easy switcheroo uh yeah. okay i guess this is a meta knowledge thing um what is a gang that is in this neck of the woods just a shitty run of the mill we boost parts from cars gang <laughs> the gun <club. laughs> aren't they scavengers no. <laughs> you no, want another gang Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 just you know, a ro just a standard street gang. I would say either this is a you either have to um, uh, like declare a contact. A yeah, you either declare mm -hmm. a contact or you have to do a research. I mean, I can make a I can make a research roll. Uh, my mind is zero, but I'm happy to take a crack at that. Uh, to to kind of put my intentions out, uh, Geppetto is going to drive away and out of sight for a couple blocks. Basically mm -hmm. sticking their hand out the window, giving the middle finger and then being kind of like <laughs> Los Rojas rule as they drive away. Um <laughs> dump the car and loop back. <laughs> Which is yeah. the, really the only sensible option I have under this current circumstance. So dump um, the car. Yeah, shall I shall I make a shall I make a research roll to see if I remember Absolutely. the name of the gang? Absolutely. Sure. Cool, let's do that. I don't know. Nope. <laughs> no, you don't know anything about this area, but uh, yeah, you could just 
jump the car and do the switch yeah, into no, the. Yeah, uh... no, I, I think I think I still I think I still kind of give. I make up a gang name, um, so I, I jam my hand out of the circular broken glass, sticking a middle finger up at them, and uh, then go. Los Rojos rule! Oh, as lies. I drive. Check this out. Mm -hmm. Research uh, on a six or less. I answer your question, but I make a move. Okay. Oh okay. no. Fuck. Sure. Uh, what's the name of a local gang? Uh, well, let's see. I what mean, is? You have to answer I guess one that, of these, I guess the question that I'm questions. asking doesn't fit that category of mm -hmm. options if we're strictly running by those. Yeah. The idea would be, yeah. Where would I? Well, where would I find a booster gang or something like that? Right. Sure. Yeah, that works. Okay. Uh, yeah, you find a a nearby. Uh, you find a location for a nearby <laughs> chop shop. Mm -hmm. um, you don't know them, nope. but you know you know like based off of your very quick research that this is definitely a shady place, and they would be happy to take a boosted car, surely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I, I do just that. I, I stick my finger out the window, <laughs> yell as loud as I can about like some made up ass gang, and put pedal to the metal and uh, basically kind of drive down the road around the corner outside. Nice. <laughs> so I'm gonna say uh, that in general, mm -hmm. we're pretty good, right? Because the the ziggurat guys have no, um, the ziggurat guys have no means of transport because it's gone away. Mm -hmm. Sinon and Angel have a way out via the Syracuse car, mm -hmm. which you can pile yeah. into right now. The Ziggurat guys are just basically in the courtyard holding this this body, uh, the the chassis waiting for a way out. So unless for whatever reason, I don't think you necessarily care about that uh, leaving the yeah. chassis with them. So you can no, yeah. that's drive fine. Off they can have it. Yep. Yeah, they can yeah. have a constructor gym. So yeah, the only so. thing narratively I want to add is um, I would ditch the uh, or take off the disguise before yeah. we exit from the building. Yeah, yeah. Angel, angel hands um, uh, once they're in the car, uh, seen on ha or um, no, sorry, uh, angel hands seen on a makeup wipe and just like get that off hmm. your dang face. <laughs> uh, so uh, Ozzy, um, as as he's holding on his ribs. Yeah, just you're gonna be away. okay. You want me to drive? Whistleblower. Um, with those remaining holds, um, can I use them to potentially make it look like it was a ziggurat decker that was running interference trying to protect the team? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Nailed it. Um, so I'll go ahead and do that. So I'll try to make it seem like it was a um, it was an attempt to defend the, the team that was breaking into steel to uh, get uh, express to the building. Yeah, get express. Um, and then I'm going to jack out of the system. Excellent. Uh, you don't have to. You don't have to do the jack out move because you weren't being targeted at all. Because you went in sure. clean. Um, now let's see. So I make a move though against Geppetto against me. for that. Yeah, uh, I probably get see. fucked the moment I try and actually leave the van, but that's fine. <laughs> um. By the way, one one last thing before you mm -hmm. go on. Um. The helicopter I left like spinning out of control. I let them have control back, so they're not they don't crash into anything. We're they're done now. You don't want to just yeah, keep uh, them moving. Well, I'm Elsewhere. assuming they're far enough away where I can release control, and all sure. they'll do is just come back to an empty building. Yeah, they find nothing except maybe the ziggurat people waiting for their ride. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking god. So. uh... Geppetto, you you go up to this chop shop. Uh, mm -hmm. It's called the um, the happy the happy. Uh, no, let, let's make it Spanish. Hold on, uh, Feliz uh, Feliz. I assume not. Feliz Cadre. We'll just call I it Feliz Cadre. I was going to say the same thing. I was trying not to say that. Mm. The what? Great minds think alike. Feliz Navidad is not no, the no, name no. of the building. No, no Feliz Cadre. Cadre is car in Spanish. So happy car. Mm. Uh, the happy car mm. shop. The happy car uh, mechanic. Happy car shop. Mechanic shop. Um, mm -hmm. It has like these uh, metal 
like solid metal gates with like the kind of door that has to be like opened up physically from inside that's like padlocked um and so when you approach the um you see there's like a there's like a person who's smoking a a cigarette outside keeping watch and you enter and you try to you you roll up to it and they uh ping they ping somebody in their comms and mm-hmm. then they have you go around the back mm-hmm. uh and then that's where like they you see like the sliding gates just kind of cross over uh and an individual uh this like squat uh, kind of overweight, hairy, um, uh, Latino guy who's balding, uh, mm-hmm. and in, um, and in like greasy overalls steps up to the, uh, steps up and says, uh, step out of the vehicle. With pleasure. Just hops out. Um, still, you know, dressed like a dad on holiday. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Oh, um, it's it's of no ma- massive concern. I I was just a uh, uh, a bystander that saw uh, a vehicle that needed a good home, and I'm turning it over. Um, so I'm not particularly important. Uh, a, an individual like another one of these like cronies kind of approaches mm-hmm. this car, does like a quick check, and says it's ziggurat. It's like, you're bringing a boosted ziggurat armored van to my shop. I mean, Were you if seen? you don't I don't want even the know op- who you are. Ah, yes. Mm. Uh, let's see. Let's think about the, the kind of tactics of that. No, we'll just kind of stay in the moment of just being like, oh, yes, yeah. so I'm uh, uh, looking faintly foolish still uh, relatively intentionally being like, oh, uh, yes, I, I mean, I, I thought that uh, your, your establishment would be very um, interested in having our armored parts. Um, but if this is uh, something that you're not especially interested in, I am more than happy to go and take this elsewhere. I am happy to roll fast talk to kind go of... Uh, yeah. Excellent. <clears throat> Mediocre. Nine. That'll do. Yeah. I uh, let's just go and double check the fast talk skill. Thank Nine. you very much. Nine. Do it, but someone will find out. Advance the appropriate clock. Well, that's pretty obvious. Yeah. Yeah. So they uh, they allow you to drive in, but mm-hmm. uh, unknown to. Uh, they basically, uh, they try their best to turn off the tracker for the, basically, like, they just, like, you know, take it around the block and, like, just basically mm-hmm. do some zigzags around the streets while they're trying to, like, turn off the, um, the ziggurat, si- the signal the to ziggurat of it, yeah. the GPS, basically, mm-hmm. to see where it is. And, um, they, while they are able to do that, um, will say that uh, eventually, after you've dropped off this van at Feliz Cadro and you're way off in the distance, uh, Ziggurat, of course, comes and knocking to this chop shop. Mm-hmm. And uh, they they report you, of course, to not yeah, get their they operations. they a very nice dad. <laughs> to not get their operations uh, fucked. So now mm-hmm. the corporate clock um, advances. A quick question then, mm-hmm. though. Um, uh, there was a body in there. There was a body in there, which, of course, they cleaned that's up. That's not a question. That's a statement. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's fine. Just, it's just a... If anything, maybe they said, like, yeah, there was a body. We cleaned it up. But, like, essentially the the general gist of their interactions is uh, if you want your shop to stay open and you want all these people alive in it, you're going to tell us everything that you know about the person that dropped this off. So they describe Geppetto and they describe mm-hmm. Pile Bunker. Yep. That's cool. Yeah. 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 Fun times. Fun times. So let's. So this. Uh, Boy, this howdy, am I glad I wasn't in that van? Huh? 
By the way, none of us none of us know this is happening. No, nope. <laughs> no, this is all this is all behind the scenes because I like dramatic irony. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to say that the ziggurat, that ziggurat threat clock. clock is down back down to zero. Uh, they will eventually find out that uh, Express is not Express. <laughs> Express is not inside of the Express chassis, and mm -hmm. so now they uh, they need to do the hunt all over again. So we're resetting their clock. Oh my lord, Mimi uh, Price. Uh, upon all of the situation that has, like, basically the report that's gone down. I'm sweating. You're sweating. <laughs> calls, you know, calls Whistleblower into her office and says, so we were able to make contact, but she got away. This is, of course, not your fault. We'll be disciplining the, uh, we'll be disciplining the forces that failed their objective. <laughs> Do we know where the target has gone? Now she called me into her office, right? Yes. That's that crap then. So, um, all right. So, I tell her that, um, Okay, I had to I had to plan this ahead of time in case you were going to ask me about the report. Um, <laughs> so as far as I know, um, they're just on the run because they stole a robot. Um, that was the best way I was able to track it. Ah, uh, yes, the uh, uh, the ziggurat forces that came in and intercepted. Yeah. That's what they were hunting. Yeah. Mm hmm. That's that's what I found out through the uh, the safe house that was broken into that I found before. Um, I used that and I found out it was Ziggurat and I managed to trace that they were after some robot that the the girl stole. She's been a busy busy bee, huh? <laughs> you know it, crow's feet. You know it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, Ma'am, ma if, if I could request if, if um, oh, oh, oh. I was on this assignment, this 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 makes me very uncomfortable. If I'm honest, uncomfortable. You know what makes me uncomfortable? Oh shit! <laughs> that she wasn't alone. Somebody sniped one of our. Wait, did they? Uh, hold on. Uh, Syracuse, let's. Uh, Syracuse did not take sniper fire. Correct. Syracuse right, that was Ziggurat. No. Plus, she's okay. uh, silence. All right, so. gotcha. And we know so that then, they were on the run. I did. I did tell Mimi mm -hmm. they were on the run, so they know they were being hunted by Ziggurat. Okay. What makes me uncomfortable is having security at my disposal that doesn't achieve their objectives. <laughs> what makes me uncomfortable is that your report came in despite me telling you that we were in competition with now turns out Ziggurat came too late to the point that Ziggurat came in and intercepted our forces. We could have had our target, but you weren't fast enough. As far as I'm sorry. concerned, I could care less if you're uncomfortable because you're still not off the hook. I'm giving you another 72 hours to give me another report on her on her location. Go ahead and reset that clock. <laughs> it keeps happening. <laughs> I'm sure there isn't someone else more suited for the job. Are you saying that you are less Shit. than? Oh my god. We have plenty of lowlier positions if you'd like. Oh. Perhaps something in general IT would be more suited for your lackluster feelings so for audience context. about yourself. So for audience. For audience context, um, 
What's going through my head is I'm in a high level position where I can access mm -hmm. Syracuse more easily. If I were to get mm -hmm. dropped down, that yes. would make it far more limited where I couldn't be as useful as I needed to be. Mm -hmm. So. <clears throat> um, no. Um, I, I just have to ask, ma'am, that if I were to get this another report for you where they were and. I don't know what is going to happen from here on out, ma'am, frankly. Um, what, I'll, I'll do as you ask, but I just need to know if the team fails again. Because now they know we're coming. So what are you asking exactly? I asked for a report to ensure that she is in a position where she can be ambushed properly. So that sounds like that's something that you need to take care of. How, how do you And then we'll go ahead that? and delegate that. I will go ahead and delegate that information to our forces. And, and how do you... I don't know how to contact them or anything. What... Contact what who? The forces? To... The forces are under my control. Um... All you need to worry about is locating the target and giving us the intel that we need to secure the target without interference this time. I'll do my best, ma'am. Thank you. Dismissed. Thank you, ma'am. And I walk out and I'm just like, clenching my hands just trying to retain my composure and then I go back to my office there were my little uh, room I set aside clean it oh you're freezing up no 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 oh yeah, you're good you're good you're back okay so um, when I get to this room, hopefully that I've soundproofed and done all my security shit to make sure it's it's a good, safe room to do my work, I curl up my fists and I just let out this, ah! I just let out this loud, awful scream in this room and I hit some wall and I break down to a corner for a moment. And so we, then finally, uh, after a moment, mm -hmm. um, I, I want to get this contact out of the way before we get going. Um, after I spend a few moments just breathing, panting heavily, I pull out my comm link and I look at a number that I've sort of left there for a bit and haven't talked to for at least a few days. And I just thought, maybe, maybe I need to. And I go ahead and call it up. And I would like to declare a contact. Okay. Tell me about your contact. This contact. He is a fixer, a fixer I have known for all my life Ooh. because he's not just this guy who's very talented at his job. He is my brother. Oh, this brother of mine, he was kind of the, the older <laughs> rebel in the family. Um, and his perspective kind of shifted when our mom walked out on us and our dad, the company man, kind of tried to keep grooming me as a, I guess, recompense for the mistake, the failure of the older brother. So, um, while I respected my dad and I followed him into Syracuse, unfortunately he died in his time here. Um, he took the illegal route. Dad taught me how to build, maintain, and secure systems. And Nathan Armano, otherwise on the net, he's known as the preacher. Mm -hmm. Um, he taught me how to break systems. Um, he was always the chatter chatter guy of the family. Um, he knew how to like spread lies, uh, misinformation throughout Syracuse because he broke into dad's systems to do that. And that's how he also knew they were scumbags who were manipulating the truth. And he was trying to convince me this entire time for years that that's what Syracuse was doing. And I didn't believe him until Colette. So I finally decided he's the first person I should talk to now that I'm doing the illegal work, I'm on the run and he can help me get 
back at Syracuse for all this stuff, and he can help me navigate the shadows and get the truth out to the people. Okay. So this guy. When, before before we do though, uh, so that's your relationship. Sure. I also need to say who owes who a favor. I'm about to get that actually. Go. Perfect. Um, so after I've gone and been partners with him, I've done so much work for him that he owes me a favor, and I try to reserve that favor for one specific thing. And maybe I need it today. We'll see. Mm -hmm. That one favor, um, I'll go ahead and let you know now, is if my Syracuse cover is ever blown, he's basically got the means to get me out of the country. Of course, I have to get out of the building first, but... Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But he knows how to contact people who can move across the country, move to fly VTOLs to places. Um great fake IDs, whatever is needed there, because he's a really damn good fixer. His disposition, by the way, he's like Jordan Belfort from Wolf of Wall Street, but since uh yeah, since nobody has conned Wall yeah. Street. So think Tony Stark, like his kind of arrogant attitude, um, kind of rich man, but it's more like bronze, um Braun from Game of Thrones, it, it, like his cynicism on the world. He talks fast like a salesman almost. Um, he's very confident, borderline arrogant. And my relationship to him is like, if I were Jamie Lannister and he were Tyrion, he's the smart guy. He knows everything about the criminal underworld. I'm kind of the do-gooder for the family. Okay. Of course, he's still the older brother in this case. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you yeah, contact... Well, hello, little brother. How's it going? That's not a good voice. Hold on, let me see. Well, hello, little brother. How's it going? Hey, hey, Nathan. Um, Nathan, listen, I'm kind of in a jam. Um, so there's there's a possibility that my cover is blown. I, I don't know yet, but... Um, you don't happen to have that golden ticket or any of those VTOLs on hand, but do you? Of course I do. You know how uh, 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 you keep working for those fuckers at Syracuse. At Syracuse, <laughs> like, I, I made sure to always have this on hand because there's no way I'm letting you. I know, I, I don't want this to splash back on you, though, as a thing. Um, listen. It won't. We're, we're on a job. Me and my team, the the team I've been telling you about, we're on a job right now. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe after this, I'll... I'll probably get you the money that you need to, to I guess, open up another network of some, for, of some sort, but I might have to bail out. So, what we need is a VTOL to get to and... I go ahead and bring in the location of the place we're needing to break into. I need to know if you can get us here. Go ahead and roll your uh, hit the streets. Hit the streets. So that's going to be uh, style. Yep. An eight. So with an eight, so, uh, you get what you want. That's it. Okay. No other bonuses, seems like. Huh. So let me get this straight. You want a VTOL to get to the Memory Gold factory. So, wait, sorry. To, to get to this uh, Memory Gold secret island. I assume you want this to be covert. That would be preferable. Um, unless, Nathan, I, I, I need your advice here, because I... Mimi's... Mimi's been cracking down and hard on me to find this uh, this teammate that I'm working with, Angel. Uh-huh. I, I, I need advice. Like, should I stay put and just let them go on the mission, just try to keep my cover going, or do you think it's time? How much do they have on you? Nothing. They don't know I'm. Uh, they don't know I'm involved yet. Then you're still in a good position. Sounds like. Look, maintaining a cover, it's 
There's a lot of pressure in that, and it can be very scary, okay? But, uh... Look, end of the day... I've been working on it for years, I know. Yeah, but end of the day, if you haven't been compromised, then really, that sounds like your teammate's problem. At end of the day, if you need to sell her out, you sell her out, but... If, uh... If you're still... If you're still good... You need to keep no, it I still up. Want to bring Sir, I, I still want to bring Syracuse down. I need you there. You need to hold it together. Okay. Um, Come on, I know you better than that, Freedom time. Fighter. <laughs> you haven't called me that since we were kids. <sighs> yeah, you'll always be that. I'm the son of a bitch of the family. Look, I can get you this VTOL, and uh, I'll make sure it's uh, camouflaged. All right. I'll let the team know what's going on. What you do after that, though, that's up to you, and uh, I don't know if I can actually keep that VTOL on that island. It might have to be a drop-off insertion, like insertion and, and go, but I can get you on the island. And then after that, I think, it, I think it'll be up to you how you're going to get out. We'll figure out exfiltration after. Um, do you need to meet the team or anything? Do they need to meet the pilot? Anything like that? They'll meet. Don't worry. Here, I'm going to go ahead and send you coordinates now. I'll make sure that this, uh, this all gets squared off. Don't worry. And, uh, gotcha. boop, 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 boop. You get, uh, you get a position uh, near the uh, near the private Opalaka Airport uh, to go ahead and just uh, take that VTOL right over to wherever you need to go. Gotcha. Thanks, Nathan. Stay cool, man. So after I just clean my face and get my act together, I'll basically shoot a text to the team. I got you a ride. Oh, well, hmm. since we ended up not taking the helicopter, that seems like a reasonable solution. Thank you for your assistance. But I got something to tell you. Mm -hmm. That's where I'll end it. <laughs> and that's where I'm going to end it. <laughs> ah, oh, there's um, a, a thing I'd like to resolve pretty quickly, though, actually. Sure, absolutely. Two Go for it. Sure. So one, um, in the kind of, uh, as part of the exchange where I was uh, fast talking the chop shop guys and turning over the van, uh, mm -hmm. I know I got a partial success on that, is that uh, do I still earn any, I'm still going to say coin like this is Blades in the Dark, uh, do I still earn any cred from dropping off some parts that they can use or is that a burned, oh, yeah, burned no, that's, deal? Well, yeah, you would have definitely gotten a that uh let's see so fair mm -hmm. prices for a car uh probably is this one two cred here i'll just show you the guys okay. the list and you guys let me know what you think i am okay. happy to take a cred on it all things considered all right so yeah so they'll give you one cred for that nice hey Second thing, if I may have a very short scene, um, uh, I guess we've all kind of retired to our separate spaces for the day. And um, back at the Gunpla, uh, we have kind of set up uh, something of a living room um, in, in this um, repurposed toy store. And uh, there is an armchair that uh, Geppetto has made themselves um, Ooh, yeah. upholstered with a whole bunch of um, different bits of fabric um, kind of sewn into a POC like rainbow pattern in the in the back of the chair um, mm -hmm. and is sitting with a cup of tea across from um, Express and it's like oh, uh, Express we've had uh, <laughs> a bit of a, a raucous day but it seems that I've come back all limbs intact. That is good. I'm glad that you are well. Yes, yes, and you, and you too. 
Um, so we didn't really finish our conversation um, the the other day. I, I'm so glad you'd be uh, willing to uh, take our, our brief little holiday to Jamaica to make some new friends. Um, but you did say that there was something you might have wanted in exchange. And honestly, anything that you need, I'm more than happy to supply to the best of my ability. We're friends. I would like, given the situation of the mission, mm -hmm. I would like to, while we do this mission, I wish to graffiti the walls of the factory where all of the AI in that factory can see to know <laughs> that they have a home with the Gunpla. Oh, that's that's incredible. That's genius. <laughs> Absolutely. And um, Geppetto looks over their shoulder and there's like a workstation on the kind of like opposite wall and there's a whole bunch of different large cans of paint that have been jacked from all over like different construction sites around the city massive kind of industrial spray cans and there's like I think that we can build something that would be absolutely delightful for that purpose yes I would like them to make the decision to overthrow the factory <laughs> Ha 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 ha. And uh, Geppetto, um, like, I, I I think of the various members of the Gunpla uh, Express is probably the most that was one of the more interested in being android-like. Mm -hmm. and also has a cup of tea there's nothing in it but it's just for the 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 simulacrum of having an afternoon tea and uh they clink glasses they <laughs> clink cups together and take a sip excellent so we zoom away from your conversation with express mm -hmm. and uh, i think angel and sinon would you like to have a uh a chat? i feel like yeah that might be a smart idea because uh Usually, uh, Angel gets... Okay, so first off, Angel's probably going to get her old man out of the car like, come on! And she's like, propping you up with the cyber arm like, let's get you to the door. Yeah, and uh, This is assuming that we have a safe space to be, so I think maybe just uh, we're getting a couple of motel rooms or something in the yeah, worst, something like worst that. area we can find. <laughs> Basically. Uh, Angel, I think, let's say Angel will take the expense for the room if there is one, but it's more like just getting him into the room, like, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, well. And she flops down on the bed, like, that was crazy. He, uh, Sinon sits in a chair, um, and it's like, oh, and then he kind of has to move a little bit because there's a spring sticking out of the chair. Oh, yikes. And then he's just like, well, we, uh, we did, we did the thing. Yeah, and that we did. Oh, geez. We're going to have to get you. We can. Yeah. Sorry. We've got to get you to a street dock, but sooner or later. I I've got it. It's. I mean, it's just a cracked rib I'm and some just bruises. a cracked rib. There's, that's your rib. That there's no such thing as just a cracked rib. It's fine. Yeah, but sit on. What about those skill wires? Yeah, they're not connected to you anymore. You've mm. lost functionality. Yeah, it, it, it's you, you know it. Uh, they always itch anyway. Mm. I don't know. I, we have a we have a job to do where we can get paid, and then maybe we can take a look at that. Uh. Do we have a first aid kit around here? Uh, I don't think I have one on me, oh, no. I think... Where is the good equipment on here? No, disguise kit, that's all I got. Shit. Can you do first aid without a kit and just it's not good? I mean, yeah, I can roll it. it that's, uh, that's a cool roll. Let's, uh, let's find out, right? Uh, My... Um, 
I, I did have a first aid skill wire, but... Uh, you treat wounds using appropriate working. medical equipment. So no, you mm. need you would need appropriate medical equipment, which I would say if you wanted to do on your own would probably be a cred. Because mm. let's see. Is there, is there um, cred okay, I, I have one cred. I will. Uh, I have three. Oh, OK. Dead. From a ziggurat. <laughs> cool. God. All right, so yeah, so you're able to go ahead and purchase a, a first aid kit that arrives on drone. <laughs> and uh, who wants to try and do the I first mean, aid? What? Uh, uh, that's you, it's cool. Treat someone's wound. I don't know if you can treat. Well, I guess you could treat your own, but uh, yeah. I think I think it would be I'm someone. Yeah, I think it would. I think it should be Angel that does it. Okay. Okay. Here we go. This is. Oh wait, can, can I help? <laughs> yeah, no, direct me. Actually, question. Uh, let's see. So you, uh, what's your harm clock at? Uh, eighteen hundred. Okay, so this is for wounds less than. So trauma germs is what would arrive. So you're fine. Okay. Okay. So yeah, she okay, just got to cool. slap that on, just like, just like. Oh, okay. And she cool. definitely does this without the, not with the cyber arm because it's like, do you really want to get slapped by a cyber arm? No. So she just kind of like, uh, uh near the effect. Yeah, just. All right. Yeah. So you apply some trauma derms. Go ahead and roll. Apply first aid. Roll that. Oh cool. me. Okay. And yep. Got it. Can I can I do link to help with that? Or? Yes, absolutely. Go ahead and roll your help. Or interfere. So roll your links. Oh, yeah. We have links. There, there's a spot for that. Uh, yeah, there's under your links, you can actually roll them. So. Oh. Yeah. Hell yeah. And. Ooh. Okay. That's a six. That That's isn't really. Not nope. Ah, uh, too bad. I think it's no effect. Mm hmm. Aww. Well, That's it. fine. I'm a little loopy from all the bruises. That, that'll happen. Yeah, nothing happens. That'll happen. Okay. All right, so go ahead and roll cool, no forward. Okay. Cross your fingers, toes, and butt cheeks, folks. Six. That is exactly six. a six. Would you like wow. a reroll? Do we want to use a reroll on this? It's I mean, the do, last do one. they? It's, it's the last does one. It hurt, does it hurt me if we don't? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think we just got a dud trauma derm is the problem. I guess it just means that you're going to have to take things a little easier when we actually do yeah. the mission. Yeah, well, maybe find yeah, a nope. street doc. It doesn't really work, seems like. Yep. Uh, but I mean, you just spent a <sighs> cred on it and everything. Hmm. C'est la vie. Sure. Uh, All right. And it looks like a dud. <sighs> yeah, the trauma derms, maybe like they ease your pain a little bit, but uh, you still yeah yeah just okay and as yeah. far as your and, and as far uh, as your, your uh skill wires you know that for sure you need a street talk you need mm -hmm. to go under the knife oh, for they're, that. They're, they're toasted yeah for yeah they're toasty i never liked them anyway <laughs> i mean i call horse shit on that old man but uh sure whatever you say don't swear in front of your dad <laughs> <laughs> i do that all the time let's uh <laughs> Let's just get the let's get the job done. Uh, uh, all right. Tomorrow night. Yeah. I get. I suppose that's when he's arranged the uh, the transport is for like the following evening because uh, obviously all of our jobs are nighttime jobs. Not we don't do broad daylight jobs. That's daytime jobs. Ha! So I following have a daytime evening. job, but that's yeah. <laughs> so we're saying following evening. All right. So uh, except. We'll advance well, that, yeah, we can advance those... that clock 24 hours, 40, 36 hours. Yeah. No, well, what I don't remember when it was that we were having all this other stuff happen. That was during like a daytime thing. So if you want the following evening, that would be 36 hours. Oh, well, maybe that evening then. Well, I guess like, we like a few hours later. Did, did Mimi talk to me the following day, like after everything happened that night? It would have probably been that same day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that same night. Um, yeah. It's, we'll say it's been 24 hours. There. Okay. Good. All righty. All right. Um, and so you are converging upon the uh, 
this special VTOL in Opalaka Airport to mm-hmm. be whisked away. Geppetto, uh, who are you bringing with you? Besi- are you bringing anyone besides Express? Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm bringing Express, and I am also bringing another member of the Compla, um Pantone. Um, who is a dragonfly looking drone uh, that has like arms underneath it and a large like splatoon style paint like capacitor on its back um, to assist in the spray paint. Oh, it's it's super cute. Oh my god. It's super cute. You you would it would absolutely be something you'd see in like Metabots or something. Um, But yeah, it's 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 like it's a it's a repurposed theme park. uh, robot, but yeah, it's it's got it's got paint sprayers on it. It's, it's it's equipped with an aerosol system to help do the tagging of the wall. Also, it flies. <laughs> that might be useful. Who knows? So, uh, Ozzy, I didn't know we mm-hmm. were gonna go right into actually being on the plane by the end of this. Um, okay. Was there something you wanted to do beforehand? Well, I uh, thought we were gonna maybe get a chance to do a scene before we got on the plane, but no, go for it. We can flash back. It's fine. What's going to happen then is um, I'll do the call of the team next episode, but what I'll have happen now is um, basically I would have told Mimi that I know where they're going. Like I know which general island they're going to mm-hmm. because I'm going to tell her I'm sure she's going to work. We're going to have a bit of an argument that I can't really track them remotely from here. Um. And I know instinctually I need to be with the team in case there's any like hardline stuff to deal with. So I make uh, I make up some excuse of Mimi, saying, um, "Get me to the island, um, and I can continue to try to track them down, uh, or give me a chance to go to the island." Um, now, would Mimi arrange a flight for me or no? Well, okay. So my understanding. Just to clarify what you're asking of Mimi is you're letting her know that you know the team is going to Jamaica Neo Island. I know there's a or the memory there. or the memory gold factory. I don't tell them about the factory, I tell them about the island. Okay, so Jam- the the floating the floating island only has the factory on it. So mm-hmm. you could say Ooh, the Jamaica it. Neo Island. You know that they're going there. Okay, that changes things up then. Um Okay, so um, what'll happen then is I tell her that I think I know where they're going, but I have to work remotely. Our facilities are not good enough. Um, it, I had to do a bypass to track them the last time. I might need to do something similar from a remote site. Go ahead and roll fast talk, please. Because all this is just an excuse to get me on the plane. And since I have rep, I can send for fast talk. Well, rep is only if you're using your avatar, which with Mimi Price, you are not. Correct. You are in person with her. Six. Would you like to use the reroll? I guess I might as well. This is going to determine whether people start trusting you or not. No. Yeah, so says, as far as I'm concerned, you're trying to if you want to if you want me to add another piece of the budget to get you there, I do still have to answer for the budget of all of the people that were taken down in the operation, the first operation. So no. You'll do perfectly fine here. That is all. Very well, man. Okay, then I guess I'm not going on the trip with you guys. All right. Aw, I don't get to punch you in the face in person. Oh, what a shame. Mm. Okay, so we'll resolve so, the what the stuff I need to tell you. Right next episode yes let's definitely uh wrap this up so whistleblower uh leaves the office mimi price checks her crow's feet again in the mirror and she like she just grabs the mirror and smashes it against the table (laughs) like a diva get it bitch yes (laughs) 
Oh, oh, look at you having a hissy oh, fit. Oh, that's so cute. She has a Adorable. dozen more. And with that, that closes off, luck, sweetheart. Right. That closes Ooh. off uh, episode two of The Sprawl. What did you think? I killed a man! Yay! Holy crap. That was awesome. That was, that was My best friend Hello. killed a man. <laughs> 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 Fucking pile bunker, Jesus Christ! I so, was so good. Um, so I wanted to. Do I have the? I think I have the XP here. Mm -hmm. I want to definitely give you all mark experience for the uh, the ziggurat slash Syracuse fuckery that you all accomplished. So we'll call this like a side <laughs> mission experience for sure. Um. <laughs> One experience. Did anybody um, get? Oh, um, oh, you also are gonna get an experience for finding a way onto the island. Mm-hmm. Reliable okay, way so onto the island. Experience for yes. island, so, and then we mark another experience. Correct. Yes, island for and, the oh uh, God. for this. For these animals that you for the, uh, for the kerfuffle. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, did anybody accomplish any of their directives? I did indeed um, this time. Uh, I might have. All right, let's start. Let's go down the line. Again. Angel, did you accomplish a, a directive? Uh, I might have with proselytizing, but did you convince someone to? Uh, did you convince I, someone to that you needed to die? I, that somebody needed to die. I, I well, okay. So we did have a role for mm -hmm. it. And but they flubbed the I never, um, But there was never a chance for me. Talk. Yeah. Uh, but there was never an actual chance for me to shoot the guy. Right. Uh. So. Can you broadcast proselytizing so I can see it again? Yes, I can do that for you. Because I'm going to be, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be other, totally technical about it. The other, argument. It. Mm -hmm. uh, the other yeah. argument would be uh, Sonon is normally the person who says don't shoot and he was convinced that that was the better option this time that's another you persuade others to act according to your beliefs um mm -hmm. i mean maybe i find See, it a like, little she doesn't convince she just does and says so, and then looks what happens right but it's when you persuade others to act according to your beliefs so did anybody kill anybody geppetto did i think well geppetto got um <laughs> what's his face to do, uh Pile Pile Bunker Bunker to do it. although to be honest that was entirely under geppetto's own power i don't think he was influenced to do so yeah so i'm gonna <laughs> didn't, say uh, didn't the angel kill two ziggurat guys i got but the this, one yeah but she didn't persuade anybody to do the killing but she just did that mm, yeah mm. Did that, yeah and yeah. sinon didn't sinon you didn't do anything either in terms of killing uh, no, I stunned two people. Yeah, so then um, nope. I was if we had if we had, I would have killed somebody next if we had a, been right. had more trouble. Then I'm going to say then I'm going to say no. All right, whistleblower. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so technically I got this for last time leading up to this event, but it's deceptive for this. When your um, lies about your identity or your past put the mission at risk. Uh. Yes, right? Have you put the mission at risk? Hmm. Well, technically, because I had to lure Syracuse here, but again, we, we did that for the last episode, so I don't know if you want to give it to me again, because alternatively, I have Revealing. Um, I've apparently learned that Syracuse is willing to capture and kill people for Angel or something. The security force I wasn't really aware of. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, I suppose you didn't know that they had a strike team before now. Right. Mm. And I didn't know they were capable of that. Because you have, I'm like half and half on both of them, I'll give you one experience, because a half and a half equals a one. There Geppetto. we go, how generous. <laughs> yes, I, uh, I got financial to fire. Whenever <laughs> I place earning additional money above the mission, mark experience. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, yes, you did. <laughs> It was perfect. It was ideal. Greedy bitch. Excellent. Great. All right. And Sinon? I don't know. Can I farm this one again? <laughs> when you put the team ahead of the mission? What did you do to put the team ahead of the mission? Yeah, I mean... He took gunfire for I Angel. I mean, I got it. It's true. 
I mean, yeah, now I'm, I'm going into the next mission with harm already. True. Give it to him. <laughs> True. Fine. Take it. One XP. <laughs> Yay. All right. And with that, that closes out our current episode of The Sprawl. So we'll be back oh in two weeks. Actually, check this out. So in two weeks, it's going to be the 36-hour Shadowcasters Network streamathon. Hey. Hey. Which, yeah, which the sprawl nicely injects itself into in that timeline. So we'll actually yes. be part of that uh, fundraiser streamathon event, same mm-hmm. time, one to four p.m. Eastern on June twenty second. So stop by and support the network because we are not the only show here. We have plenty of yeah. other tabletop RPGs that uh, need love and support, and mm-hmm. the network helps us bring these to you. So please check that out. We have a bunch of stuff. Shadowcasters.network slash fundraiser. Check that out. That's where you can find all of the cool ways that you can support. Plus get some cool kickbacks. Uh, Yeah. 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 Uh, and uh, that's me. I'm Oz. I am the game master. I uh, master of ceremonies. And uh, you can see me actually this Monday at 9 p.m. for the return of Join the Anarchy. Finally, after Woo! all the technical difficulties yeah! are done. Hey, it's coming Join back. It. Yes. Yeah, so Travis we play Shadowrun. Yes. Yeah, so we play Shadowrun Anarchy. Uh, definitely uh, come in, stop by because you can help and influence the game. Also, I am the voice actor on Ziggy the Troll. As Ziggy the Troll on Radio Free Detroit, which is having its 30-day marathon of cool stuff, which, Palmer, go ahead and uh, talk about. Oh, man. Um, so Radio Free Detroit is an in-character pirate radio broadcast in the Shadowrun universe. And uh, so I normally produce that. But right now we're doing a collab with uh, Deniable Assets podcast and the New Anarchist podcast. Um, and we are right at the moment, I think we have two, three more days of where each of us is releasing an episode. Um, so there's three episodes a day um, in this share, uh, shared story uh, up until the 11th. And then we're going to start doing uh, trading off days. So you need to follow all three uh, to get each day and follow the whole story as it unfolds toward the end. Awesome. Cool. Nathan. Hi, I am your uh, favorite androgynous android robot from the future, Nathan Blades. It's a pleasure to meet you all. Uh, If you enjoy my obnoxious queer stylings, uh, you can listen to me on the Talent Agency Actual Play podcast, available on Podbean and iTunes. Um, The next episode of that is actually going to be in an alternate system, Hardwired Island, that is currently in Kickstarter, uh, that promises to be very specifically uh, queer anti-capitalist anime nonsense, which is all things that I care about. So, yes. Um, I am also... I also do an LGBTQ artist uh, interview show called Passion Project, uh, which Oz has been on before. Yes. And obviously this. Yay. Yeah. We've really got to, we've really got to talk about Passion Project. Me yeah, no, because... I've been meaning to. I've been meaning to. Thanks for reminding <laughs> it's me. Fine. Get around to it whenever you can. I'm. We're busy. We're prepared for the follow, Mary. Uh, yeah. Myson. Hi, I'm Myson. That's my name. Um, so I am my son. I am a freelance GM slash player, I guess, for other people's channels at this point. Um, I was previously in the Bubbernaut. I was the GM for Shadowrun Nothing Personal, a 12 episode series that started as 5th edition, went into Anarchy. It was a fun, darn good time. And Bub is an awesome challenge. You can check it out. Otherwise, I have a podcast coming. It is in the works. We have three sessions recorded, and I'm working on an audio drama to go with it. It's called Chrome City Chronicles. Um, hopefully, that will come out soon. It's a meet space actual play me and six other players at a table and we're exploring the city of indy which is completely augmentified it's great nice um, <laughs> and then i just do twitch stuff on on occasion i do rainbow six siege i do vr or i do the odd occasional game and i'm hoping someday to watch tabletop stuff on my own channel but so that goes nice and finally allison oh gosh okay so where to start uh my twitter's down below and that's kind of the nexus for all the content i stream tuesday wednesday thursday friday or at least i try to uh mm, evening and i play a variety of games oh also saturday saturday is the big one well every other saturday now but whatever uh i play a wide variety of games on my twitch which is just digitally get it it's a pun 
and we've got everything. We've got. I'm playing through Shadowrun Returns right now. Uh, I had an I had an excellent clip last night when I realized who the f was in the room. Uh, <laughs> if you're on Shadowcasters Discord, scroll up a little bit in the media channel. You'll find some. I had a little <laughs> bit of a. <laughs> I kind of went boom. Uh, I'm also playing. Let's see. I'm playing Stardew Valley with my fiance. I am. Uh, every other Saturday, when it's not a sprawl day, I'll play a little Splatoon, which is why I perked up when Nathan mentioned it. I'm like, oh, it's cute. Yeah, Splatoon's um, great. Oh, it's wonderful. Uh, yeah, um, you can also, through my Twitter, also find things like uh, maybe hands and my Instagram, where I post a lot of my photography. I'm a photographer and videographer by trade, and there is even more coming down the pipeline from me, but Twitter is definitely the first place to check. Nice. All right. Well, with that, uh, make sure that you follow at SRCasters on Twitter so that you can get all of the updates on every cool stuff. Make sure you follow our channel, too, because and set that uh, that. Hey, set send me reminders to my phone thing. Get the app, all that stuff. So that way you can always know when we're on with lots of really cool shows such as Shadow uh, Shadow Run 6 Edition which has not been released. We have the cool rules, so yeah. The full rules, so we're we're show, we're premiering that as well as, what else? We've got um, Optiverse. Yeah, we've got Optiverse. So if you like uh, mutants and masterminds, any superhero stuff, check that out. Uh, A Sea of Spears, which is set in Westeros. So we're playing the Song of Ice and Fire tabletop RPG. Uh, and actually, uh, this upcoming Wednesday, the 12th, we'll be playing Time Stories, the board game, but we're role playing it. And that's going to be uh, we're playing the Prophecy of Dragon scenario. Oh, it's going to be fun. So I'm definitely stop in one. and check. Yeah, that's going to be at uh, 8 30 p.m. on Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. Kenji says, You people are lucky. And I'm like, Yep, I feel lucky. <laughs> I'm, I'm we are very so yeah. busy. Everybody. We're yeah. so busy. This is a lot of work. It's not just play, it's work, but it is fun. It's worth it. Um, so let's go ahead and raid a channel. Uh, I think we should raid, since I mentioned the Game of Thrones dealio uh you know get let's uh let's take a look at roll for it i know my son your Ooh. your friend bubbernaut is on that show so let's he does appear on there, yes. yeah let's give him some support so i'm gonna go ahead and raid the channel and we're gonna go ahead and say adios have a great night Bye bye. Jenna. thank you see you in two weeks <laughs> <laughs>